here. I got to hear the rest of it. You were really pissed at Sal. You know, I knew it because I, I said to Ronnie, let's go. I had to leave at one o'clock. We had a meeting and uh, Ronnie was like livid. Yeah, a little bit. What was your point, actually, that the guys went first to the all, party first and they all, threw you under the bus? No, first of all, Sal wasn't even there for most of the party. That right. was number one. And he was critiquing everything about the party, but he wasn't even there. That was not, and he was, you know, knocking my neighbors that they're they're all Jews trying to be Italians, which is not true. Are they Jews? No. Are they Italian? There's a couple of Italians, yeah. Right. And he kept rapping about this guy Angelo and this guy with his with his uh, grilling with his cut off T shirt and all this nonsense. Meanwhile, this I feel guy like he was trying to be like me, Sal. Yeah. Well, he always is, you know mm. that. But he's afraid to ever answer you back. He's scared shitty. You well, won't, you won't be... ever answer you back. That was the He's other scared, thing. so scared of you, what you're going to do to him. When does he need to answer Howard back? Well, you know, like when somebody, like when he takes him apart sometimes, I mean, come back at the guy at least. Don't be afraid to come back. <laughs> Do you even him. know what Ronnie was arguing about half no, the time? No, no, he's yeah, screaming, I'm not a pussy like you. No, he is a uh, pussy. He's a <laughs> pussy. Because when he, he's around his wife, you got, you got to see, even my neighbors were saying yesterday, they were talking about it. Like he's, oh, Mr. Cute Little Sal. She said... <laughs> All right, Sal, it's time to leave. We're leaving now. You're not leaving? I'm leaving without you. You could stay here. And she just starts walking down the block. Wow. And then and he, he follows right after her like a little, little pussy, right. which he is. <laughs> wow. I don't know, but there was a huge fight. Here's, here's part of the fight. I'll play it a little bit great. of it. I'm sure if you heard the replays and stuff, you heard it. But uh, here is uh, Sal and Ronnie. I was sitting in the car cracking up. Staring at Ronnie and listening to You're this. looking at the back of his head listening yeah, to this. Yeah, I was listening to the replay in the back of the car, laughing. It was the funniest thing I ever heard. Do you laugh when you hear this, Ronnie? Yeah, I was laughing. I was laughing. I heard it back. It was funny, actually. You're the what? biggest piece of shit of them all in here. <laughs> Richard? No. Sal. Oh, Sal. What Sal. did I do? Why is Sal the biggest I, piece of shit? First of all, you weren't even there for three quarters of the fucking party. And I said I had and a great time. And you come in and you start ripping everything apart. Did you not About play? All my neighbors that they're Jew, that no, they want to be Jews no. and all this kind of crap. See, now, see what he's doing? No, he's what turning this doing? around. What you're getting your whole fucking neighborhood against me. I know what you're doing. I said <laughs> yeah, your whole neighborhood. I'm my whole guinea block against you. Uh, I didn't hey, say that hey. you did. And that's wrong. That's wrong, that's you Jew wrong. bastard. Yeah, exactly. Listen to me. The neighborhood was very. What do you call you, a Jew bastard? Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. that about? I don't know, man. Any neighborhood? He, you, he guys. Yeah. Oh my God. He said, it more, he said it more than once. Yeah, he kept calling you a dirty, not a dirty Jew, but a Jew bastard. Right. Sal, of all people, he gets offended at the word getting, which was said, Ronnie's saying it out of context, like right. making fun of it, and Sal's got to come back with Jew bastard. <laughs> that's really out of line, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's Sal, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I I was like listening to Sal going, "What a fucking asshole!" What an idiot! <laughs> He's a busy. He, he <laughs> makes these claims, which you know is true, Ronnie. He could maligns your whole neighborhood or calls them one thing, and then when that you know he has nothing to back it up. You say, "What do you mean by that?" He has no answer because he wasn't there. <laughs> that was the whole thing. He didn't get there until like everybody was gone already, practically. Where is that imbecile? How does he not come in here and start a fight? And then, and then the other thing I was pissed off about <laughs> was, was Shuley was setting me up with all kinds of crap. Yeah. Like, sing this song, man. Go up there and sing karaoke. You know, he'd run up with the, with the recorder, and then he'd start, you know, he'd, start, he'd be singing with me. But every, the only part that came out on the tape was me singing, <laughs> you know? I heard, I heard, and I'm not supposed to know this, that you what? called Shuley at home. And no, no, I didn't call him. I called him on his cell phone, and I said to him, "What, you know, what's up with you, man? Like, what, what's your? Pro I didn't thr And he tells him I threatened him. I didn't threaten. See, he he likes to exaggerate things for I you. I heard you threaten Shuley. No, I didn't Whoa. threaten. You're the only one with lies, Ronnie. Yeah, you that's are right. Lying top to bottom. Yeah, right. You are Look a at disgrace. Your face. Look you at your are face. the biggest dude, slimy. Piece of shit liar ever to walk yeah, look on the face of this fucking yeah, earth. There's a stand up. Trying to do a stand up no, routine. Yeah, real stand up. Yeah. What the fuck ahead. is a stand up, you asshole? Everything that you have been saying has been a fucking lie. You're not you Jerry right? Seinfeld. I did, I did call you a Jew bastard, but I wasn't being what? racial, Howard. I'm sorry oh, if you were no. being racial. No, he's Jewish and he's a bastard. Put the two together. Dude, I wasn't that, call that, You know what? That is such horseshit. No, it isn't. And I never Jew called. Jew bastard and, isn't being and, racist. Oh, hold on. And he's a bastard. What has Jewish got to do with If he called it? me a greasy Italian. But Italian. he didn't. 
I know, but he said that I call, first of all, I don't use the word guinea, and I didn't call his block a bunch of guineas. You could call me a Jew basket, I could use guinea. And if that was the case, Ronnie, how come that wasn't brought up initially? You know why? Because now you're starting to make shit up because you're angry at me. I'm not making anything up. All this, this didn't come out on the first day, Howard. Nothing came out on the first day. Yes, it I did. I told people that you ran around with a sleeveless shirt acting like an asshole, which no, you no, did. No, 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 no. And that was I it. I said Ronnie wore a sleeveless shirt, and he was trying to... All right, to but be, I made you aware of it. And I, no, I was trying to be like... Like my Italian neighbors. Yes, yeah, but I didn't said. say that about his neighbors. You, what, you hear me say something, and then you go and you you expand no. on it, Howard. I came in here and said, well, "All right, yeah, you might have you saw the video. That's true." Yeah. But I didn't talk about his neighbors having a sleeveless shirt. Yes, you did. No, I you didn't. You talked about Angelo because no, Angelo I, told me yesterday. Yeah, you're right. You know what he said about Angelo? I said that his neighbor Angelo passed out, and you wanted us to fuck with him, and we said we no. We did fuck with him. Yeah. We went in and fucked with him. That's so what? what? I, but that's what I brought up about Angelo. No, 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 no. Oh, what did Go I say? Go back and listen to it. Go ahead. Get get the what, tape. I, I ran around with a sleeveless shirt trying to be like my neighbors, Angelo and the other people. Yeah, with you did. Sleeve, like, well, what, what, who you cares? Did. I'm saying How you is he wearing a sleeveless okay. shirt? Is but, he Italian? But Ronnie, so what? Is that okay? Is that okay? He that went, doesn't why matter. don't you call him a Jew okay, bastard? Wait a minute. If you have a sleeveless shirt, all of a sudden I'm insulting your neighbors, you stupid asshole. No, what are you you're talking trying, about? You're trying to make me look like an idiot. You are an idiot. Yeah, That's no. why we're here to begin with, you dumb fuck. You're yeah. bouncing around and about to throwing kids so out. So what? Calling a girl we were having a ass, good time. Making fun of some guy's diabetes. At least I wasn't... Running had, around with my on. nose up my wife's ass all day like hey, you. I gotta live with her, dude. I'm yeah, sorry I know. About well, that. you're a pussy with bastard. Well, that, that's fine. I can Guinea live with bastard. it. Guinea bastard. How's that? Fine. See, now you said Guinea, not Italian bastard. There's a difference. Yeah. Guinea is a derogatory term. Call so is Italian. Jew bastard. No, Jew isn't. Jew's a religion. Oh, really? Jew bastard yeah. isn't, a, isn't a bad thing to say to somebody well, who's Jewish? May, bastards wrong. Well, you got your boss <laughs> upset with it yesterday when he heard it on the replay of the wrap-up show. What if I he said, goes, what the fuck is that all about? What if I said, I know, I heard his, I heard him, as usual. But the you thing didn't is, hear me. I just you weren't in the call, you no, in the call said, with us. He hears me psychically. <laughs> yeah, he hears everything. He knows you like a book. If I said to Ronnie... You're a wonderful Jew. Would that be racist? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Al, because you're, be, you're pointing yeah. out the fact that he's Jewish. It's yeah, in your, what is it's in your head that he's Jewish. It's, it's, it's preoccupying it it him. It's it's you're fact. defining him by him being Jewish. Right. All right, well, and then I got... And that, you're saying wonderful Jew would mean, wow, you're better than the other Jews. Right, the well, fact Well, he'll that... never be that, that's for sure. But the thing is... Uh, just call I, him a bastard. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't realize, Howard, and I apologize, that just by calling somebody a Jew is considered to be racist. You don't know any time when it's if racist. If you say to someone, the man over there happens to be Jewish, right? that isn't racist. If you mm -hmm. happen to say to someone, you're a Jew bastard, that's okay. racist. Okay. You don't know that? What are you, a fucking retard? No, he doesn't know that. <laughs> Why do you have to fight every point? You know that's racist. You did it to demean him. I did it. I wanted to call him a bastard, but he's Jewish, so I called him a Jew bastard. You're fighting with him, and your true colors came out. My true colors did come out, and he started by... You don't like Jews. <laughs> oh, the Jews are fine. Take it easy. But the thing oh, is... Oh, I should you take better, it easy. You better yeah. apologize. No, but the point that I'm trying to make, Howard... You, you, to all the Jews you just offended. <laughs> oh. It's like when you said nigger ass the other day. Nigger You're a racist, dude. I'm not a racist. Nigger dude. asses. Niggers have nice asses. Niggers. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point that I was trying to make. <laughs> but the word nigger is absolutely offensive. Think of how of stupid this world has become that if you add an R versus an A, it, it separates you from being a racist no, to a rapper. No, that's how doesn't. fucking dumb this no, world is. No, that's your rule. No, you no, you just, ex you just made it clear that I accentuated the R in nigger. No, and it's ridiculous. Oh, but if I said nigger, all of a sudden. No, 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 you just got off track. No, you said nigger ass, and you don't know that the word nigger is offensive. I know the word nigger is offensive, believe me. I go say it on the street, I'm going to end up dead. I'm not, I'm just answering Howard. Are you, are, are you all nuts? <laughs> we didn't say I nigger know, versus nigger. nigga. We yeah, didn't but say that. That has nothing that. to do with this conversation. And we're, we're talking about the fact that you said nigger ass, and you don't, and you're defending that that's not racist. It is racist if you're saying you it. You call Ronnie a Jew bastard. That's when clear as a bell to me. Jew bastard. It's clear as a bell, yeah, man. What does okay. Jew bastard have to do with anything you're because arguing about? It doesn't. He's Jewish and he's a bastard. That's I put what the two together. That's what makes racist, Sal, because it doesn't have anything to but do with your argument. But why don't you say uh, mustache bastard? But I'm not the one. Because, he's but, got a mustache. But I'm not the one who started it by saying guinea. That's why I retaliated. He wasn't with calling you, you a guinea. I didn't no, call you a guinea. You called me a Jew bastard no, way but, before that, no, dude. No, but you said to me. And then you started with my neighbors, too. No, I You started I the whole thing. That was the whole deal. 
This is all bullshit. It's not all bullshit. It. It's all 100% bullshit. It's all not it. bullshit. I had a great time with your neighbors. Your neighbors are cooking sausage bread. I was talking with them, laughing with them. Drinking. You were the only... They I don't fucking even hated you. They were, they were throwing hot dogs at you. No, they, they told me. They, this is so stupid. Now you see why I call him the Jew bastard. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I talked to the people yesterday. You're a liar. Top the guineas on my block. See? I never said that. I said it. You started you gotta... this guinea horse well, you're shit. Tell, you're telling no, me you're I'm the trying, one started... you're telling no, me I'm trying see, to be guinea, like them. If I called you a kike, that's racist. Oh, really? Is yeah, that, if that, I called is you that a right? heeb, that's racist. There's wrong with you, man. But I called you, if you called me an Italian bastard, there's no way that's halfway as bad as guinea. Not even close. You're the one throwing out the heavy word. But so I'm throwing, throwing out the heavy yeah, word. Yeah, you're the one throwing out Guinea. Okay. But you don't see the un insult in someone saying Italian bastard? You don't see that as being insulting at all? And you even said it yourself. It. You said it yourself. Guinea t was with the Guinea t-shirt. I know. I My said neighbor slavery. Angela was wearing a Guinea no, t-shirt. Get the tape. I never said that. Yes, you did. Get the tape. And if you do, you could teabag me. You I don't want to teabag you. Yeah, because you're fucking I lying. Come, I wouldn't come near you. I'm, I'm, because you're a fucking he, piece he's of right, shit. He gets to put his balls on your eyes. Yeah, that's how convinced I am that he's wrong. You'll take the Jewish tea bag. You'll Whatever take, it takes. Take the Jew bastard tea bag. I'll take the matzo balls right in my right. face. Wow. Fuck him. Will you ever invite him to your home again? No. I, I want to see. Shocked. I was shocked he invited him in the Dude, first I place. Felt, you know what? I felt really bad because I invited a whole bunch of people back here. And we pulled a, a prank on him as usual. I didn't give him a, a thing saying about the party. And he was running around like a little baby, crying to everybody. No, he wasn't. And then, and then he I'm... was like ignoring me because he was like annoyed, I guess, no, I because I didn't invite him. You know why? You so know over why? the vacation, I felt really bad that it came to vacation and I forgot all about it. So I went home and I called him on the phone at home. And I said, Sal, listen, it was only a joke. I said, I really love you and your family with your kids. Come to the party. There's going to be a bunch of stuff, you know, for the kids and all that nonsense. And, uh, oh, I'd love to come. And then he comes to your house and he makes, you know, he's, grill he's grilling your, you know, he's grilling Laura. And then Laura was looking for him yesterday. Like, every I time talked he saw, to Laura. Yeah. I talked to her. Yeah, you talked to her, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you did. She was looking for you the minute she walked in the door. I have no comment anymore about yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You are yeah, fucked with all day I, long. I'm sure she put you in your place. She put you in your place? I have no comment on Laura. What happened? She yelled at you? I have no comment. Tell me what happened. No, out of respect to her, I'm not saying What anything. happened? I'm asking you. <sighs> she just said, she, she, she pulled me aside, and she uh, showed me a piece of paper that said Laura on it. And she goes, can you read this? And I said, Laura. She goes, okay, don't ever say that on the air. And she walked away. Don't ever say what on the air? Laura. Laura. <laughs> Don't ever say Laura on Like, yeah. forget and her I name said, and forget she exists. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. And I apologized profusely, and I told her, you know, it wasn't my intent to, you know... Um, yeah, somebody sent me an email criticizing me, saying, well, gee, everyone can talk about everyone, but then uh, when Sal talks about his conversation with Laura, you jump down everyone's throat. A, Laura works for me in my home, and, uh, you know... We, I always expect that whatever goes on in there is something that is private between us. She's not somebody on the show. Right. I see it as different. If you came to my house and talked about it, fine. What am I going to say? Right. I'm not gonna, I'd be a hypocrite. But um, I, I, I was taken aback that Laura would even know, would address you. Why? Why? Because g telling you something is like, you know, is, is insane. <laughs> it's like putting in page six. Right. Worse. She told me nice things. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm not sorry about that. I wouldn't tell you anything. I know, I know. I'm I, sorry. Be, believe me, you make that clear every day. Believe me. I'm sure she learned her lesson with you. And what's she, that, She was very upset, man. Very upset. Well, I'm sorry that I said that she said nice things about Howard. It's not, and but I, and but I it's not. No, she was upset the way you grilled her. But it's not <laughs> Sal's fault. It's not. Sal but, but has Sal, questions. Sal has a way of doing things, man. He has a way he of doing things. He didn't do things. anything wrong. He asked questions about me, and he got answers. Hey, if you want me to be quiet from now on, I will. I won't say a word. I won't tap into people. I won't give anybody insight. I, I don't... I don't oh, know. let's I all feel know. sorry. No, no, Look I don't know Google. what to do. Wait, let's I all feel sorry for fucking oh, Sal now. Well, I don't know what to do, because, Ronnie, the thing is that when I went to your party... I made it clear I had a great time, and you know what? You were really funny. And the next day, we were just ribbing you, like we always rib on the show. Yeah, but yeah. for now, some reason, now, out now, of everybody, now it's like now you're ribbing but, me. No, but we did. Yeah, Julie's okay. got the tape. Richard had some laughs. Uh, how we had a lot of we, laughs, we, you know? And that's what the man it was right. Fun. But then why does but it the, bleed into me? So, you get so vindictive, man. But I don't. You I do. wasn't vindictive. You should listen it was to yourself sometime. 
Well, you know what? If I was vindictive, I'm sorry. It wasn't my intent. You're trying to take off, you know, where Stutter and John left off. I'm not trying to take yes, off. Yes, you are. Did. That guy yes, had no you talent. Are. He was an asshole. I'm not trying to take off for where Stutter and John was. Oh, I yes, just, you I, are. No, everybody, sa everybody says it. Fine. That's what it, they don't want. It, they don't want you at their house. Fine. They're afraid to have you there because he used to do the same thing. I need to know what kind of an asshole Stuttering John is. <laughs> he was good at it. No, no, no. He's I mean, an is asshole. he an I t Italian asshole? What kind of asshole is he? I don't even know what he is. <laughs> Puerto Rican. <laughs> He's a Jew bastard. Yeah. He's, I think he's, I don't know. He might Somebody be in his Jewish. family was Jewish, weren't they? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you got So he's a half Jew here. bastard. That's that explains wife, it. His Let's wife. go to King of All Japs who wants to say hi to us. King of Japs, hi. Hey now. Hey now. Hey Howard, I was going to ask you something uh, about Sal. I mean, I correspond with him every once in a while. He seems like a really nice guy, really intelligent. But it seems like, is he mentally, like, challenge or something or is this just a bit so that he could, he could come on the no air? no it's not a bit he is mentally challenged honestly i i believe he is first of all where's the bit on the air i was sitting in my office i didn't even want to come in here and tell howard goes where is that imbecile so right. and ronnie has a, said idiot whatever idiot yeah. asshole douchebag imbecile you call it you know right. you got every name I said, in the where's that idiot right, right. so you, idiot. you know secondly <laughs> i never would call you an imbecile you're an idiot <laughs> thank you appreciate it you're talking clinically now secondly yeah. ronnie has i mean i'm doing a medical <laughs> diagnosis an imbecile is is much smarter <laughs> all right so there's your answer king of all japs no because the, you know, yes he's an idiot thank, thank you all right here's a uh, so so uh, how do we resolve the sal and ronnie thing is I don't know it if well we can. will you guys like be friends I, would, or? I i i, I don't have to be friends with him right all right he I, have, I, you know i say hello to him in the hall that's it goodbye that's it I don't, need, I don't need to be his fucking friend. Ronnie doesn't need to be my friend. I have no problem with Ronnie. I mean, I had, like I said, I had a great time at the party. He acted like a, a, you know a douchebag, and he was funny. Yeah, and I, yeah, about I did. It. I had a great time. Yeah, okay? and I did too. And but you don't have to be. You don't have to take no, you, it out you, on you, me. You didn't have everything with you. I had a great time. No, it's, everything with you is about the show. I was drinking. You with, don't know how to. Have I was a good drinking time. with your son for a half that hour. That doesn't mean anything. We you were still you still working the show all the time. It's the show. Well, well, I should hope so. That's why I'm here, Ronnie. Maybe you should work the show a little bit more. Maybe that's your problem. I you know, do my, I do my share. I'm, I but I know how to shut it off when I right, want so to. Do, okay? do you share? You don't. The fuck you don't know how here. to shut it off. I, I, you don't know how to shut it off. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you were, everything is about the show, no matter what you do. I didn't run the cameras. I didn't get you on tape. Well, you, you know, Sal does make a to. point. He was there. He observed what was going on. He he went. But on how he wasn't there? Around. That's the problem. I was there. He was there. He wasn't even there when the bouncy thing was going on. Right. How's that? That doesn't matter, though. I was there it for the karaoke. It does matter, because you make things every... up. I didn't make anything there. up. It's on tape. Yeah, I know it was on tape, but you weren't there to see the actual thing. So what? So how dare you saw comment it. I on saw it. it on Who the hell are you? All right, let's uh, call it a day. <laughs> Ken, you're on the air in White House Point. Uh, what's great about this argument is you got two of the three most deluded and despicable people. Whatever, douche. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear his point. Is that, is that makeup boy over there when he cries? That was Ronnie, you fucking deaf shitbag. Oh, oh that's, that's a real strong. <laughs> Who's the third one? Oh, George Bush. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, thank you. You're I'm pathetic. Not, I'm not sure what Ken's point was, but he evidently has a problem with you, oh, too. No, they're both deluded. They, look, Sal's a racist. He's a misogynist. He 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 is a stalker, and you're going to have trouble with this asshole. Number one, Ronnie, with that whole limo thing, I've never heard anybody cry like a bitch uh, months ago. So <laughs> two of them arguing, it's funny as hell, oh, God. but they're losers. <laughs> All right, thank you. Now I understand, Ken. Thank you. Yeah, and he made a great point. His point was that you two are losers. Dr. Right. Ken, has there you spoken. go. Okay. Well, thank you, boys, and uh, great uh, job yesterday on the wrap-up show. I heard the argument, and it was very compelling. Eh. Thank you. Do you guys want to shake hands and make up? I have no problem with Ronnie, and I apologize that he was offended that I critiqued his party, but he's a no, good guy not, to me. That's not the point. Well, right, I, I don't. See. I still don't know what the point is. Do you, Howard? I'm not sure either. The point is, we've gotten some good radio. Yes, out that's okay. a great point. Yeah. So and that, it, that makes Sal happy because you're happy. No, it makes me happy because I worked for Howard Stern and the whole. And point you, Howard, you made him happy because it, it was good radio. It doesn't. So make, now you got a big smile on your face. And is there something wrong with that? No, no, there's nothing wrong with it. But why do you sound like envious over that? I'm not envious because I just I did the same thing you did, and I, I'm not I'm not uh, you know fucking everybody over like you do. How do I fuck anybody over? Please. It's like I said, everything is about the show with you. All no right, matter where you go and what you do. Where do I work? 
You don't work here after 12 o'clock or whatever. Well, I do. All right. Let's, That's the let's, difference uh, between say me and thank you. Whatever, Ronnie Sal. And you know, you do what you have to do for the show. Be my guest. Be John, uh, Stuttering so John, whatever you want to do, be my guest. All right. So there we go. It's uh, a standoff. Go fuck yourself. That's horrible. Any final racist comments, Sal? No, no. I would call him a Jew bastard, but according to you, that would be wrong. So according to a lot of people. According to everyone on the planet. So he's, I'll call him a Jew asshole instead. Oh, he's, oh, that's he's better. out of his mind. He doesn't realize what he's doing. I'm glad he learned so much. And now the exciting news is that Eric the Midget is on our side. Eric. Uh, good morning. Hey. Wow. Our buddy, Eric. Is this my pal? You for once having some fun? Yeah. <laughs> now, how did this all occur? I mean, I was away for the week. What, what changed your mind? Well, one of the contributing factors is because I was not confident in myself enough with this wrestling trivia contest that I knew if I was going to lose it, I was going to have to vote for him anyway. Right. So yeah. I was trying to do this to get myself out of this wrestling contest. But oh. um, also... <laughs> The fact that, you know, after watching as much TV as I watched, I kind of see that this, the deck is severely stacked against me. <laughs> In other words, like the Kenny Rogers song, you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm for one, I'm kind of sad that you're not against this because it was fun battling you, but yeah. I even believe... Cele even celebrities now like Jennifer Lopez and Pink are going for him. <laughs> yes. So you've come over, and I welcome you. And uh, how many times did you vote for Sanjay last week? Well, after I got off air with Ralph, I voted over about, I think, 125. Nice. Wow. All That's right, Eric. cool, Eric. Right. That's good. If you, now, now, how do you feel that you're voting for Sanjay? Has it made you feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. You feel like you're in on the fun. I even have the recorded proof. That I wrote it. I to prove to you guys, if you ever needed me to, I recorded the vote for Sanjaya message that you get when you call this. Play me the proof because I don't even believe it. We will need that proof. Hang on a minute. All right. Robin, here's the proof that All Eric right. the We will hear what they say when you vote for Sanjaya. Party, there's proof. Okay. <laughs> we don't want fraud. Play it for each vote. I only recorded one. All right. Could have played it a couple of times. We'll know of one sure vote. I figured one out of the 125 was good enough to record. Hi, this, this is Ozzy Osbourne. Vote Sanjaya. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Please vote for Sanjaya. Please vote. Oh, there it is. There's yeah. proof. There's proof. Good for you, Eric. Good for you, Eric. A man of your word. <laughs> well, Eric, uh, not much to talk about now that you're voting for yeah. him. So. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, is Ralph going to do another one of those? I heard it was a big hit. Yes, I believe Ralph will be doing another one. I thought of uh, the one they could possibly get for this week. You know, Beth, Beth knows Diana DeGarmo to see if she could get uh, Diana to either call <laughs> in or... All right, I'll, I'll check with Beth on that. What Thank you, What is his conversation with Diana DeGarmo? He likes her. What's a fucker? Mm. No, I want to date her. When you want to ultimately fuck her, though, put your midget dick in Yeah, her. you don't want to just date her. All right. That's up to her. Not no, me. of course you can't force yourself on her. Uh, we can give her. We can give you her answer now. Eric. <laughs> Artie seems to know her answer. Yeah, no fucking way in hell. <laughs> <laughs> but don't lose hope. Uh, not even if you were the last freakish midget with a cock on Earth. <laughs> that's not an absolute no. <laughs> no, it's. That doesn't uh, sound like the door is completely closed. Yeah. Well, no. All right, it's a no. 
It's an absolute no on the dating and the fucking. That's something you hear a lot about, fat ass. <laughs> yeah, so I know, ladies, I know what a chick means no. I'm yes, never in the mood for a jam. Uh, 40, sometimes every I song in that channel is 40 minutes. It's insane. Yeah. Self-indulgent. Uh, Eric, you still there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where's he going? Where's he going? Well, now that he's our buddy, he gets to hang. Don't you do have things to do? Not exactly. Waiting for the trivia contest. Oh, is no. that today? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were waiting for American Idol. Might as well sit with that. Yeah, I got to do the weigh-in. I got to do uh, Eric the Midget Wrestling Trivia. Let me look at the schedule. Playboy Playmate Shannon James is going to stop by. Can't wait to see her. That's a full show. Yeah. yeah. Now that now that I'm on your site, can you please change the name from Eric the Midget to Eric the Actor? No. <laughs> we're gonna. How about Eric the Sanjaya <laughs> Fan? Eric, I'll talk to you tomorrow when we get ready for the vote. Well, you have to talk to me later. Oh, all right, all right, I'll put right, you back on hold. Trivia question. You want to be on hold? Or you want us to call you back? Uh, call me back. All right. Yeah, it's kind of stupid now doing the trivia thing, but the the other trivia guy flew himself in and stuff. So, uh, what's the trivia thing with the? Yeah, well, here's what happened. This guy goes, I could beat Eric in a wrestling because Eric's really into wrestling into a wrestling trivia contest. So I said to Eric, I tell you what, if you lose, you have to vote for Sandra. Oh, okay. So yeah. Just you know. So that's why he switched. He didn't have any confidence in his ability. Right. The whole thing's going to be just fucking dumb now. No, no. Does anybody care if Eric the Midget can win a wrestling trivia contest? Can I just no, give these guys prizes? it doesn't mean anything anymore. Yeah, bring that kid in and want to... Let's just see if he knows anything about wrestling. Yeah, this is the shit that we had planned and it went horribly wrong. We originally planned this because Eric the Midget was against voting for Sanjaya. In case you haven't heard, Eric the Midget is now voting for Sanjaya. He's already given in. Yeah. He's with us now. He's, he's joined the dark side. What's your name, dude? I'm Vito. How you doing? Hey, Alan? Vito. What's happening? Uh, much. You're evidently a fan of wrestling and yeah. you knew a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, you, were, you, got, you guys were actually playing for kind of a... Uh, prize you guys might like, uh, the Wrestlemania Anthology DVD set worth $200. Are you serious? Yeah. I rather. Is that good? What is what well, is the... Uh, it's, it's like, I don't know, I, it's, they put all 22 Wrestlemanias together, but it's like $250. Right, I mean, well... I'm not paying, I would never pay that. Well, you get it for free. Well, uh, you also get the WWE Championship belt worth $300 from the new movie The Condemned, starring Stone Cold Steve Austin in theaters everywhere awesome. April 27th. And uh, then, uh, I don't know, I guess that was the prize, but you guys want to play for it? I, I, yeah, I'll still play for it. I have no problem. I, I can beat him very easily. Uh, I think Eric would like those prizes. I, I think Eric doesn't know anything about it personally because that's why he's voting for Sanjaya now because he knows he can't beat me. I also <laughs> like what this guy had to do if he lost. What did he what have to he do? do? Uh, I think Sal was going to dip his balls in pudding and give him the, uh, the, the raccoon thing. Oh, give him raccoon eyes? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, then let's do it. Uh, get Eric the Midget on the phone. We're working on it. We almost got him. So if you lose, Sal's going to dip his balls in chocolate. I actually thought it was Sal and Richard, so just one of them is not as bad. That's not so bad. And then they're going to give you raccoon eyes. Well, you don't I, like I, I'm ugly anyway, so what's the difference? Have you ever gotten a lady? Have you ever gotten a girl? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have. Well, uh, not as much. Obviously not if I'm a wrestling fan, so. Right. <laughs> All right. So you can, at least you get some contact with a guy. You'll have some balls in your... <laughs> at least it's contact with a human being. Yeah. All right. Let me get Eric on the phone. Our guys are working on that right now. And as soon as that happens, we'll be in business. Can you see Eric carrying around that big belt? The belt is bigger than me. Hey, Eric, as it turns out, there's some decent prizes in this for you. Okay. Did you hear what they are? Uh, something about a belt and... I couldn't really tell something about WrestleMania. Yes, the anthology DVD set worth like 200 bucks. Okay, yeah. And a, and a belt, championship belt worth three hundred dollars from the new movie The Condemned, starring Stone Cold Steve Austin. Are you a fan, fan of his? Yeah, I'm going to go see that movie. All right. So, we'll so you'd like that? Yeah. All right. Now, if you the, the fun part of this is if you beat this guy, not only do you get the prizes, but he gets his he gets his ball he gets Sal's balls in his eyes and gets raccoon ah. eyes from chocolate. So we would like you to win this. All right. I'll start with you, Eric. Eric the Midget. And then we'll go to Vito. You ready, Vito? Oh, yeah. All right. Eric the Midget. In Rocky Three, Sylvester Stallone's character wrestled Hulk Hogan's character. 
What was the name of Hulk Hogan's character? Well, how's that wrestling trivia? That's a movie trivia. Because it starred a wrestler, and you should know this. i never seen that movie. All right, so the answer is you don't know. You don't know. No. Okay. We're going to go over to Vito. Vito? Thunderlips, the ultimate male. Hulk Hogan played the part. Absolutely obviously. correct. Thunderlips is a... Wow. Thunderlips. Thunderlips. Wow. Vito has one. I'm shocked that you didn't know that, Eric. Come they on, started Eric. off with a softball. Eric, you got to win this because we want to see him get the raccoon eyes. I know. All right, Eric the Midget. Donald Trump shaved Vince McMahon's head at WrestleMania last week. What wrestler right. represented Trump in the match? Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley is correct. Very Bobby good. Franklin Roberto Lashley is right. his real name. Okay. Oh. Let's go to Vito. Vito, Howard and Artie's favorite wrestler, Goldust, is the son of what 1970s and 1980s wrestling legend? Dusty Rhodes, better known by his real name of Virgil I. Runnels. That is correct, right. Dusty Rhodes. You are some wrestling maniac, aren't you? The yes. score is two to one. <laughs> Eric the Midget. NFL legend and New York Giant Lawrence Taylor wrestled in the main event at WrestleMania 11. Bam Bam Bigelow. That is correct. Against Whoa. what recently deceased wrestler? Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Look Bam died of a cocaine you. overdose. All right. Scott Bigelow was his roommate. All right. Here we go. One of the worst things in history is watching LT do that. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Bam Bam thought so. Mm. Told himself. <laughs> I almost did. All right, whose turn is it now? It's uh, Vinny's or v Vito. Vito. Sorry about that, Vito. Uh, close enough, you. Robin. <laughs> you win a prize tag. Yeah, we're all the same, aren't we, Robin, Vito, Vinny? Yeah. Comedian Andy Kaufman, you remember him. He had a staged feud with what wrestler in the 1980s? Ah. Hold on, that's a tough one. Well, hold on. Jerry the King Lawler. Yeah. Oh, okay, you were being sarcastic. That I think I knew that. Right. We're insulting him with the you level really, of I, questions. You really are. I don't mean to be offensive, but you really are. Right, let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Eric the Midget. In 1998, Jay Leno and NBA legend Carl Malone each teamed up with the same wrestler in a separate pay-per-view tag team match. Name the wrestler. Paid. That is correct. Oh, look at these two. Vito, we're sorry. We only meant to insult Eric. Oh, that's all right. Um. <laughs> now, who are you insulting there? Artie. <laughs> we know. I, I don't know what Vito looks like. Vito's very handsome. I say I'm Artie without the talent. Most, <laughs> you know, most of the time. No, he's, not, he's, he's pretty thin, this guy. He's looking all right. All right here we go. Um, who's, uh, who's the turn, Rob? It is Vito's turn. All right. Or Vinny or whatever. <laughs> George Bush Sr. and Bill Clinton are both former wrestling fans. Really? What WWE wrestler campaigned with George Bush Sr. in 1992? Oh, Christ. I was only eight years old when that happened. That's well, right. that's not our problem. It is not your problem. Grow <laughs> up. Problem. Apparently we got sick of insulting you, Vito. <laughs> Do you know the answer, Vito? I'd say Hulk Hogan. That is wrong. Let's go to Eric the Midget. Do you know? You could you could uh, move ahead in this contest. No. Or even it up. No, it's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, really? Yep. I don't know how that happened. Didn't yeah, Eric, I don't Eric missed no. one. Yeah, Eric missed one. He got it. I don't know. I get the score at 3-3, three, three, but... Well, he should be ahead. Is someone else keeping score? Because obviously I can't. I have 3-3 three, three also. Me too. How about him? Well, we must have asked one extra question to Eric, oh, so we'll, okay. we'll ask, ask uh, Vito an extra question. But Eric, do you know the answer? No, not at all. Oh, oh you're well, not making up any ground here. The answer is Ric Flair. Ric oh, Flair. Flair. Gee, I even <laughs> met him. Hey, uh, you can't say it after Howard said it. Oh, Flair. Oh, you meant Flair with an F. <laughs> okay, now I'll ask Vito a question so that you can... All right. So it'll be fair. Before Jesse Ventura became governor of Minnesota, he was the mayor of what city in Minnesota? Brooklyn Park? That's correct. Wow. Oh, nice. All right. Now, Vito, you don't even know politics. In order to be fair, I'm going to ask you another question okay. because I obviously went out of order. Okay, before John Cena, or is it Senna? Cena. Okay, before John Cena signed with the WWE, he wrestled independently using what name? The prototype. That half man, correct. half machine. Exactly wow. right. UCW out in California. All right, Eric, now it's your <laughs> turn. This is crazy. Name the only Jew Jewish wrestler to pin Hulk Hogan for the WCW title. That would be Flair. 
Wrong. Wrong. Let's go. This is it. Vito, you could you could just move way ahead. What is it? I don't know. That's a tough one. What? Goldberg? Yes. I was going to say, what? Oh. It's got to be Goldberg. How many Jewish wrestlers are there? Rick Flairstein? Six to three. Uh, you, you, uh, fortunately for you, you're not going to get well, the ball. If you've got any extra prizes, I would still be willing to get the raccoon eyes. You would. Yes. For you got, additional you wanna, prizes? You want to spice, up, spice well, it up a In little the world more. of satellite, we have no additional well, prizes. I got, well, you know, I feel I kind of feel like I'm letting the audience down because I wouldn't want to watch this unless I got my... I got Howard TV, so... It sounds I, like you want balls no, on I, your eyes. I really okay. don't, but I, I would... This, I feel like I'm letting the audience down. I'm going to go for a shameless plug here, and what's your shirt say again? Artie Lang, it's the whiskey talking. It's I can give you more DVDs. I can give I've got, you. I've got beer league at home, and I've got them all. But I can spot dirty work actually too. Oh, oh my God! So, so we owe him money. <laughs> yeah. We got nothing prize wise. I, I can see he's a big fan of the show. I'm a huge fan of the show. Wait, so if we, if I get, if I said that you could take a photograph with Howard afterwards, and Howard would personally sign an autograph picture for you, does that get anything for you? Yes. Oh really? Yes. Wow. All right. Howard, do you Howard's got do a that? spell. I'm under Howard's spell. <laughs> see, I don't Howard's think that's spell. fair, but no. we would do that for him anyway. But. Uh, um, if you, yeah, yeah. In order to get the picture, you have to take the balls to the eyes. <laughs> hey, that's all right. All right, I'm sorry. That's the all way it goes. Right, Eric, right it turns out you don't yeah. have the most wrestling knowledge. Eric, it turns out we found a bigger nerd than you. Yes. <laughs> oh well. No belt for you, and no WrestleMania anthology. Like I said, I didn't guarantee I was going to beat this guy. All right. Thank you. You did pretty well, though. You did well. I never claimed to be an expert. Yes, you did. Several times, Eric. Yeah, you did, actually. Oh, you're, you're, you're humiliated. That's why you changed midweek, Eric, because you knew you couldn't beat me. A fan, yes, but I never claimed to be an expert on wrestling. Okay, you're just the idol expert, right? That's why you're switching for Sanjaya, the worst one ever, like you said, right? <laughs> okay. All right, there you go. That's all over you, <laughs> Eric. has got nothing. Eric, I would rather drive down the street than walk, if that makes you feel any worse. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Okay. Bye for now. Talk to you later. <laughs> All right, Eric the Midget Wrestling Trivia. We've got a we've got a call uh, right now. Can can, uh, can we speak to this caller? Hello. Hello. Hi, Cindy. We're on the air. Yes. Cindy, fuck you. Oh. Well, nobody screamed that call, obviously. I did watch uh, Saturday night. I did watch the Bob Levy Danny Bonaducci fight. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Uh, well, I you know, wanted to watch that so bad. It's a strange thing. I heard the the the, the website that ran the fight, GoFightLive.com, it was called. Right. The reason I know that is I had to type it in. Uh, the the website when people were trying to order, I think it crashed because really? after they were on our show, so many people tried to sign up for this thing. I think it was like four dollars or something. Five bucks. Yeah. Five bucks. Okay. So um, I went on. Saturday night, Richie Notar was over my house, and he had already subscribed. He he somehow got the he gave the five bucks, and we were going to log in with his password. We went on; it was completely free because I guess they couldn't handle the demand. So they gave it away. They ended up giving it away because wow. I didn't pay for it, and I had it on my really computer. That's amazing. <laughs> they didn't even make the money. They thought they I don't think they did because it was just open to the public. When some crashes like that, do they get? The amount of money that led up to it crashing, so. or just no? I think they got the money that oh. led up oh, to that's it. That's good. I okay, guess. so I don't know how much they made, but sounds like they had lots of demand and they couldn't even handle it. Yeah, I thought that's the, a terrible thing. The, well, qual the only thing I, I know is that the quality of the broadcast it was hard to see on the computer, and a bunch of the guys who were over my house said to me. Well, can't you hook your computer to the TV and then you can watch it on TV? I go, I don't have that. <laughs> I mean, well, everyone expects me to have everything. Right. Yeah. I go, I don't do that. When do I watch my computer on the TV? Does that exist, that technology? I think yes, it does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have that. Do you have that? No, I, I don't. I'm have not that interested yet. in you that. You don't have that or Blu ray with the TV? I have Blu ray. <laughs> I, I'm one, you know, my, my, I'm on one DVD. Somebody was telling me about Apple Television. Maybe that's what, I don't know I don't what, know what it is. Anymore. By the way, I'll have your thousand dollars tomorrow. Yeah, I where's my thousand? I'll have it tomorrow. Boy, you're a little late oh on the back. Oh my Listen, God. I don't welch. I'm not a welcher. You don't have it? You, you strapped? I, no, actually, I, uh, I, I did some gambling this weekend, but I... Uh, <laughs> and you lost? I, I, uh, no, I uh, I will have it free tomorrow. Like, yeah. Maybe you Would you like a VIG? Him... No VIG. <laughs> Maybe you ought to pay him twice because of the being yeah. Bob. Wow. Well, yeah. my experience was... Listen, well, why did you bet on Bob? I mean, listen, I told me... you I didn't want to take your money. Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah. I, I, I want... Like, we've been busting Bob's chops. I know you like Bob. I love Bob. Bob's a great okay. guy. Do you he want really me to get is. the money from Will? 
<laughs> well, I think, does Will owe you that $60? Because yeah. then... <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, so, so you say. I, I, and, and I don't know, I, I did get wrecked, because I'm one of the few people who've seen Bob fight, but um, and I do know Danny is a tough guy, right. but uh, quite frankly, when he came in here the other day, I didn't want to take away, I already made the bet, and I don't want to take away Bob's confidence, but I've never seen him in that, that he was in amazing shape, I mean, he had like the abs Danny. thing going yeah. on here, Danny. Bob or Danny? Danny. No, Danny, <laughs> that's why you know I, who I'm talking about. Danny always said, that's why I said to you, why are you betting well, Bob? Well, I don't think I ever recall seeing him like that, I mean, he was cut and, and uh, whatever, so, you know, I, I thought maybe it'd be a confidence thing for Bob, and sometimes with fighting, I like Bob, I, I right. bet on him. What are you I like Bob, Were too. you in his corner? It's money I could afford to lose, thank God, but mm. um, what, what happened was, I'm, it was in bumfuck Pennsylvania, mm. while I was supposed to be in his corner, I got lost going to the fight. By the way, here's what I heard, because we had Howard TV there. I, is Howard TV going to rebroadcast the fight? Do oh we have that God. ability? Doug, do you know that? I know you guys were down there filming. Yeah, we're going to put clips into that in today's daily show, so it will be on Tower TV tomorrow night. That's good because I got to tell you something. On the computer, I had a real hard time seeing it, and the fact that Howard TV will now have it. Richie Wilson showed it to terrific. me, uh, and he didn't even sh not from even one of the cameras. He showed me on a little like BlackBerry as yeah. it was crystal clear. Yeah, not on the computer. It was hard to see. Uh, well, I saw the knockout punch very I saw well it too. <laughs> and, and, but, but, not, but, the but, knockout? But, yeah. What? 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 Jeez. What I'm saying is that when I watched this thing, the Bob Levy, Danny Bonaducci fight on the computer, it was even hard to tell if Danny had just pushed him down, or if there was an actual knockout punch. You couldn't really see wow. it that well. So, uh, Howard TV, Richie, you're telling me will air? Yeah, we have it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's great. We actually have it now if you want All to right, see I'll, it. All right, I'll call for it in a minute. But. Um, because I couldn't really see it that well on the computer, so I would imagine everyone so everybody would want to see it. everybody was standing around your computer trying to watch the fight? Yeah. Oh, boy. So how is it on Howard TV? When will that air? It, it should air tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah. You can't get it on midnight. tonight? Well, it's going to be for today's Daily Show, which will air tomorrow. I see. So that's midnight it goes on? Yeah. Okay. So anyone who is a subscriber of Howard TV, you'll have the Danny Bonaducci, um bob Levy fight. And I will watch this because I had a hard time seeing it. And, you know, the coverage was rough. Also, the audio was kind of weird. Yeah, because like, their, their main camera was a good distance away. Yeah, why was that? On the screen, yeah, it was weird. Why didn't they have a camera close up? I have it, it, Well, the ring was in a hockey rink. Yeah. So, yeah. They, so I had to basically go to the other end of the room, take a table, move away chairs, and set it up just so I can have a decent shot. How many uh, cameras did they use to shoot that thing? Uh, I think they had two. Two? Yeah. yeah, you need like at least and six. And they were both the same distance apart. There were no, uh, we were the only ones with cameras like up close to the ring. How many cameras did you guys have? We had three. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm anxious to see that coverage because uh, I, I couldn't see what was going on. So I will check out Howard TV for sure. Well, I'll tell well, you. The, the thing, the, but the funny thing that I heard was, so Artie was supposed to be in Levy's uh, corner. corner. Yeah. Artie showed up a half hour after the fight was over. The, the arena was <laughs> well, well I, I had Sal on the phone, and I uh, said, I, I, I said, Sal, I'm making every wrong turn on the planet. I go, what are they doing? He goes, they're just about to start. The, he said, they'll delay for it. I said, don't delay. It's a fight. And if they're really antsy, they could start. <laughs> and I ended up get. But what happened was it took so quick to, to be over. Um, <laughs> I, I, Sal said, I'll call you and let you know what's going on. So I thought maybe I could just make it after the first round and catch, you know. So I called Sal back in like five minutes. And he goes, That's what, I go, what happened? He goes, it's over. I go, over? He goes, uh, Bob got the shit kicked out of him. He beat the shit out of him in the first round. He goes, and then somehow he, the bell saved Bob in the first round. Yes. And wow. then for some reason, Bob went out for the second fucking round. Then within two seconds, you know, it, it was, it was right. It was a knockout. And from Richie's camera, or, you know, Blackberry, I could see that it was it, it was a punch that knocked Bob across the well, Let me see the punch. You got it queued I mean, up? Yeah, yeah, we got it ready. All right. And it, they were wearing headgear. Is there audio on this or no? Uh, you hear the crowd scream just like right. yelling at Bob. Yeah. Danny gets this right up the in there. Round? Yeah, Bob no, has his own quick. shirt. Oh, you see, you got, you see, I can see it now. That's real clear. Yeah, there they go. Bob was holding on to Danny a lot. Well, but... that's what you do when you're losing. Right. <laughs> That made sense. Ali did it well. Bob doesn't. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 no, that was no push. That was a real knockout punch. That was a double punch. punch. Yeah. Oh, look at the, Danny. Danny still wants to fight with him. He's on the ground. The ref knocks Danny down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, you see the camera all the way in the back wall? That was their camera. Wow. Can the ref can the ref fight Danny next time? <laughs> what was great is the ref needed to look at Bob to see if Bob was okay. <laughs> Danny was jumping on top of Bob so bad that the ref took Danny and threw him down on the ground. Oh, get him away. Yeah. Well, he was like, Howard, fine. you have no idea the, the, fu the, 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 the most distressing thing about this, okay, yeah. and the bit of news I have about this. Oh. I get there, and, and I go in the back to see Bob, and he's there with his wife. His wife is a very lovely girl. You met his wife. And... Um, Bob has an enormous like shiner, like a oh, red, like no. yeah, like he had a, a big red mark. Even though they had, you know, zero. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, "Are you okay?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I'm okay." And and I said, "Well, you know what? You're all right at least." And you did, you know, whatever. It was a, you right. know, you got some publicity, kind of maybe. Talk, huh? I guess maybe you put some money in his pocket. I don't know. And um, he goes, "Well, uh, you, you know, so, you know, my next fight, I'll be in better shape." I said, "What?" <laughs> he said, uh, "Oh no, I'm going to keep fighting." I said, what are you oh talking about? God. I said, who else are you going to fight? Like, DJs? He goes, yeah, there's a whole circuit of people. He goes, I might fight Todd Bridges now. Oh, gee. <laughs> I said, Bob, I said, could you, first of all, could you fight someone who hasn't probably gotten into a fight with a crack dealer? <laughs> Secondly, he's going to continue. What are you fighting? doing? Yeah, wait, now he's a boxer. He goes, God. listen, Art. Uh, it keeps when I'm training. It keeps me off coke. It keeps me off booze. Oh it's God. healthy. I can make some money. I said, Bob, healthy. If you need the box to stay off a of blow, you really you're not getting to the root of the problem. Yeah, you know? and you, boy, this is really working. This outpatient rehab. Well, I'm you. saying, look, that's yeah. obvious. I right. mean, you know, uh, if. You're 48 or whatever the fuck he is, and you're you know you're you're He's starting a boxing to career. Box. <laughs> this is nuts. This is when you start like a, a literary career, or no a offense, bowling career. And no offense to Bob, because I like Bob so much. Me too. I don't want him to get hurt. I, but his wife want... is for this. The trainer is the for it. The wife is for it. Yeah, I, she's like. Uh, no, she's had enough of him. Uh, <laughs> I, I got. I got. Married two weeks. I got to tell you something. I, you know, I look at this guy Bob. He was in here with Danny, obviously, last week. He looks like he's like a cancer patient. I mean, he's 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 thin. He's slooped over. You know, he looks like me. I mean, I can't fight. You know what, Howard? Uh, he looks like he's in between bone marrow transplants. Right. He Howard, looks listen, terrible. He look he looks like I would look if I didn't get lucky and get on like Van TV or Norm or this show. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bob has nothing but, and this is why he's respected too with comics. But for the last twenty five years, he's been a shitty club after <laughs> shitty club after firehouse after shitty club after like you know uh, getting a comedy night together at some nights of Columbus for booze. And, right. Like, like and, and and like me, he he parties too much, and uh, he's damaged mentally, like me. Right. And uh, he's a funny, amazing comic, but he's been on the road at shitty club every night for the last twenty years, and it's taken a toll on him. He looks older than he should look. He's not. I mean, so like boxing seems like a better alternative. He really think it's such a new thing to him working out and being healthy. I think he thinks, okay, this is my way to to stay or out of the club. All right, well maybe it is. But, but it isn't. It isn't because it's it's just too old to do that it's like he'll get he's at the point now where he's better off yeah. having a cigarette than jogging he's got to oh. go into the senior league maybe he could fight, fight. oh i don't know who could he fight no he couldn't <laughs> I, I don't even know who he could fight listen man as a sta as a stand-up as he a stand-up he could fight tony curtis <laughs> i look at guys like him as a stand-up and i there but for the grace of god go i i I got lucky to get other work. You know, y your goal as a comedian when you start is to get that day job, get a gig, as a, whatever, writing, so you don't have to, so you can get out of the clubs. And, and guys who are much funnier than me just never got that break for whatever reason. And I think Bob is one of those guys. And, and it takes such a toll on you physically. And now he's faced with a life on the road still where he can make great money because he's good, but it's still the road. Or maybe boxing every three months after training and make but I don't know how much money he can well, make he I don't should, know what, what he what, should what, fight Ernest Borgnine what's, <laughs> yeah. what's, the, what's the value of him fighting Todd Bridges I'm like how much money you can make more money playing it's, a club it's over the weekend yeah. it's ridiculous it's ridiculous hey Howard speaking of people who shouldn't be fighting did you get my email on who's fighting next no high pitch Eric is gonna fight next who? Who? Well, who's he fighting he's fighting Bam Margera's fat dad oh gee why I, it, he, the guy's in no shape to walk. Well, how is this box. happening? I don't understand. The, Who's putting together all these fights? The same guy that put this together. Promoter. I met the promoter. Bam, Bam Margera's is, uh, dad. Is dad. He's is, just as fat as high pitch, but he's just an old guy. Is it Uncle Vito or the dad? Phil. The dad Phil. The dad. Yeah. Because Uncle I Vito. I fighting him next. Wow. Mm. I'd watch that. Mm. But I tell you what, high pitch is going to die because you know what? He's, he can't, he's, he's got gout or something. He can't even move. He can't, he's he's going to die. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't even know Bam Margera's father, but I'll tell you what.
high pitch is just no condition to fight. But then someone told me Irish John, maybe this was a joke, but someone told me Irish John, the caller to our show, Irish John, yeah. yes. is going to fight uh, Wayne Bobbitt. What was going on? I don't know what was this... going on at the fight where Danny Bonaducci was calling out somebody to fight him. Apparently, after the fight, High Pitch and Iris John were like yelling at Danny Bonaducci after the fight. Like those three, High Pitch, Double A, and Iris John. Do you have that on tape where Danny I, was it's screaming? Pretty sure we have it. Yeah. yeah, Danny started screaming at someone in the audience to come up and fight him. Now it was High Pitch. It is. Well, those guys before the event even started, they're driving yeah. around the parking lot blasting the theme song for the show, like right. screaming, "Look at me!" Basically, right. <laughs> and and they're in the ring between the fights, like like talking a bunch of shit. Like it's a whole like look at me fest with those three. <laughs> and so like at the end of the fight, it's like wrestling. They were hyping up some shit and okay. yelling. Well, Eric was flipping off Danny Bonaducci after he won the fight, and Danny leans over the top rope and he goes, "Get your fat ass!" And Eric almost shits his pants right mm. there in the front row. And Irish John steps in to help him. Double A scared shitless. All of them are scared shitless of Danny, <laughs> and Danny's calling them all out. And then. Levy's wife comes over, and Danny at the time didn't know this was Levy's wife, and she starts yelling at him. All right, she's uh, like, "You're a dirty fighter," and he goes, "Go fuck yourself, you skank," and this and that, and he starts yelling at her. He's like, the whole crowd wanted to come into the ring and fight Danny, <laughs> <laughs> and he would have beat every one of them up. Well, he says, "He goes, you know, I was born in this town. I've never been in a place where so many people wanted to beat the shit out of me." And right. Later, and he, he thought apologized. He was the hometown favorite. He did. He really thought he was. Yeah, uh, I but, got a lot of. Uh, I mean, after their appearance on our show. I got a lot of email. Uh, it was mostly like everyone wanted Bob Levy to beat right. the shit out of Danny, but it wasn't going to happen. I said, listen, you got to be kidding me. I mean, Danny's in shape and Bob isn't. I want and hope Bob beats the crap out of Danny. Danny is a fucking complete tool. Kick his ass, Bob. That's what it says in one of these emails. The other one was, oh, my God. Why in the hell would Howard have that loser Danny Bonaducci on the show? He is such a fucking loser with an attitude. At best, Danny was a mediocre child actor who hasn't had a success as an adult, and now is all bitter and angry. Just another loser with a dream. I shut off my Sirius and went back to regular radio while this douchebag was on the show. Here's another one. I hope that Bob gives that cocky bastard the money shot. Knockout punch in one shot. I can't stand his arrogance. God, Bob, please put this roid head in his place. I've never seen someone so stupid, especially to get punched because he likes it mm. i call that roid rage uh small nutted bastard but i did like the overall interview uh and finally um uh, bob Levy and i have a lot in common physically mentally however there's one huge difference i have enough sense not to fuck with danny bonaducci and i carry a gun <laughs> you know so you know People forget about one important thing. Say what you want about Danny personally. He was hilarious on the Partridge family. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was really funny. <laughs> uh, I like Danny, and I like him on the show, and I think he always mixes it up. And I think Bob was crazy to get in the ring with him, and I'm glad Bob's alive today. I, I mean, am I really amazed am. that after the show, Bob went into the ring with him. I mean, yeah. after Danny took off his shirt, it was like it's a done deal. Just uh -huh. go home and don't come out. Well, Levy's definitely not going to back out of anything i know that about him but uh you know again uh, when i got in the back you know shuli brought up a point that that reminds me of something too they were making all excuses too when i got in the back oh you know, he was fighting dirty and, uh, and bob's wife how was, was he fighting was, dirty he was he, he was, was punching him in the back of the head a lot when they yeah. were clinched danny was belting him in the back but of the he should have never that's gotten illegal. that close yeah. that's the well, problem the there was, was no the defense was the ref was awful he didn't know what he was doing i was going to say there was one moment i said I, Is as there soon as you hit the floor you have to start counting if you watch believe he's on the floor for like 20 seconds you know like well that helped bob yeah. but it ain't ali frazier guys i mean you're not gonna get the best ref you know? uh, <laughs> well I mean, the fight is over and i do want to say if you missed it it is on howard tv starting tonight you have the whole 72 seconds there you go oh. and for, i just gotta say pharrell was doing play-by-play -play, and you gotta get him involved in more sports shit man he is the funniest fucking guy when it comes to play-by-play -play. will he do the play-by-play -play on howard tv yeah, or yeah yeah that's what he did, did. He do a live play-by-play -play on howard radio well though? we were calling on the road on the way down there we were calling into the news and doing news briefs on the okay, way down great. there and on the way back <laughs> yeah uh yeah pharrell you know speaking of pharrell i want to say something uh, quickly you know we had yesterday on the wrap-up show a whole bunch of controversy between Artie and ronnie the limo driver ronnie's, ronnie's the best ronnie the limo driver <laughs> is not invited to Artie's Carnegie Hall show tonight. Uh-oh. And he was upset about it. Oh, God, this was great. And Artie, I don't know, somehow it came up, uh, you know, 
you know, Artie was saying that Ronnie doesn't really do anything for him. No, no, I never no. Uh, Who said that? Ronnie said he does a whole bunch of stuff for me. Wait, wait, wait. I wait, couldn't wait, hear you. What? Ronnie said that he does a whole bunch of stuff for me, and I, I, I should do stuff for him. And then no, I, didn't, I, I didn't say that, Artie. So let's let's drop that right there, okay? First of all, Scott started this whole thing. It started out as a, like one of these stupid gag things. Right. All right? They wanted me to come in and jump all over you. Because there were a lot of people that didn't get invited, and there are a lot of people out there that are pissed off, but they just won't come in and say it. Okay. All, right? all right? That's number one. Yeah. Number two, Scott started this whole rumor thing about me being pissed off. I said nothing. I actually said, they wanted me to come in and jump on you, and I said, I know how Artie gets with this shit. He gets all upset about people being mad at him for not inviting him. I said, I'm not going to do that to him before his gig right. to get him all bent. Okay. I have a little more respect for you than that. I saw you in Atlantic City, and I saw your routine, what you do before you go on the, you know, do your gig. Right. You sit by yourself, you drink, you smoke, <laughs> you read your material, <laughs> yeah. you don't want to be bothered by anybody. So I wouldn't do that shit well, to you. Well, that's nice you to all say. Right? I didn't know any of but that. But then you fucking jump all over me on the wrap-up show. I did not. And what not. do you think I'm going to fucking do? I did not jump all over you on the wrap-up show. Well, we were having a discussion. I don't give a shit, dude. I don't give a shit if I go to your show, all right? Okay. Ooh, what was the jumping on? Well, what happened was... No, I, don't right know, okay. going, I, I don't know how it happened, but somehow somebody might have said, and Ronnie might not know about this, that Ronnie said, oh, Artie, does, uh, I do a lot of stuff for Artie. Why can't he do this for me? So all I said was, you know, me and Ronnie are friends, but I really don't know all the stuff that he does for me. That, I just asked that so question. So it came down that, that it, it, what happened was on the wrap-up show, Artie was kind of saying, I don't know what Ron... Ronnie doesn't do anything for me. Uh, so then Ronnie called in to explain what he no, does No, I didn't explain. I was on fire, man. I had water pouring in my fucking car like like somebody put a bucket of water in the roof. <laughs> yeah, that was Because it was pouring rain and one of my... The drains got clogged and the water was pouring into the car like uh, you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I don't understand And then I get you. this shit. It was an unbearable I don't day. understand you. Because yeah. fucking Scott the Engineer thinks he's cool by... And he's sitting in there like a little asshole laughing on the phone. Did you see what I put her over on Ronnie today? Like a moron. <laughs> Can I tell you something? The funny thing is... Uh, yes, now you're going to rip my car apart. I heard about that, too. The funny thing is that uh, Ronnie, of course, is uh, my limo driver. Yeah. And the limo had an unfortunate thing. It got filled with water. Ooh. Like uh, something got clogged, a tube or Get something. Get away from me, you stupid ass. Hey, man. So the water came He's an ass. Side. What, Scott? Yeah, he thinks he's... He thinks he's Dude, think of a better scam, huh? Well, wait, wait, can, I, can I go from one Lord. story? Could you, could you let me tell the audience what's going on? Because you're probably very confused. So water was coming inside the car. But, yeah, so Ronnie no, called me up. water was pouring inside the car. Wow. So Ronnie called me up and he says, look, I, I, I had to go out and uh, be on Long Island with my daughter yesterday. So uh, he said to me, look, let me go get the car fixed. If you don't mind, use my car, my personal car. Uh-huh. He has a truck. He has a GM truck, General Motors. It's a, uh, what did he call that? Denali. A, a Denali. Yukon Denali. Yukon Denali. He says, use my truck and, and you'll get out to your daughter. I said, okay. So I get picked up in the truck. It's weird. The Yukon Denali is a very nice truck, aside from the fact that it has XM in it, and that's why I wouldn't buy it. All right. But he put into his car some sort of device. That makes noise. So no, that no, the it's car, not a device. So that the car will sound noise. So the engine will be noisy. Oh, he wants a loud car. No, no. Yeah, it's so not when a, he goes it's down not the street, a device. I changed the exhaust system a little bit. That's what he did. He changed. I didn't the put exhaust. a device in they this car. A loud car. It's, it's not it's that loud. A smooth riding, nice car. He turned into a loud. So I guess when he races down the street, it makes a noise, so people he look at him. know he's coming. Yeah, because... Here cause, comes Ronnie. Oh, don't you start me. Even my, <laughs> don't you even start me with your Corvettes and your noisy Corvettes, all right? Even my 13-year-old daughter, I said, yeah, well, right. the reason the car's so noisy, Ronnie made it this way. She goes, on purpose? I go, yeah. She yeah. goes, oh, my God. So she, so she says to... Uh, you two are trying to talk over the noise. Right. Yeah, it's so it's noisy. It's not that loud. It's so Come noisy. In the back. I said, I don't understand why Ronnie would do this. She goes, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So I said to Mike, explain it to me. He goes, well, you know, when you, if I was to gun it right now, mm -hmm. you would hear this very loud noise. Yeah. Well, it, so I said, I said, you like that? He goes, yeah. I go, well, do it. My, my daughter goes, do it. So he guns it. And it's it's like that. <laughs> and uh, It's not that loud. I said, what is it? You? I said, I guess these guys are real men because right. I don't understand it, why the, that the sound. The engine gets them hot. Yeah, well, Gaffney just did that with his. He's got a little four-cylinder Honda. Uh -huh. But why do and that? He, and he did that to his car, so it sounds like a little coffee pot. It sounds, like, <laughs> it, it sounds to me like you want to be noticed. No, it's right. not that much. I just like to say it sounds like a little bit. It's got a cor The truck has a Corvette motor in it. 
I wanted it to get a little more rumbling sound to it. I'm, I'm into cars. You're not. Yeah, but, no, but, you're but, into but, other things. I'm into cars. You're into playing chess. Right. You're into your music. You're into a lot of things. I like cars. Yeah, I like but, doing but things. Why make a nice, quiet car noisy? Because it's not quiet. That quiet from the beginning, anyway. When it comes from the factory. So why enhance it? Because I like the sound of it. Well, tell that, me why you like that. I don't know. It's just it sounds like a you race get car. In and you go broom broom. That gets you. It sounds like. A, <laughs> look who's talking. Don't <laughs> even. Don't you even go there. But it's a truck. Don't even go there with your Z06. <laughs> but it's a truck. It's not a race car. No, it's a pretty fast truck. I am dumb. All right, what, whatever. whatever. It's such a nice car. Why don't you Jeff's talk about making the car sound? Why don't you? This guy can fuck up a car. He didn't make it fast. Why don't you? This, this guy. No, this it guy does can, make it fast. This guy opening can, up the exhaust a little bit. You get a little more. Little more. How fast? How much right, faster? Race you car going? driver. You right, should know so that. How, how much, you should know that. How many more? Maybe five seconds horsepower. Seconds did you uh, get on the speed? I don't know. I didn't never time it. I never timed it. Dynamic. It's a truck. All right, calm down. Anyway, I, you know, anyway, anyway, I and then I'm looking at this car and I go, it's such a beautiful car. It is. It's a hot. He truck. can fuck up anything. Oh yeah. Now, He's got a giant. Um, Roadrunner puppet. I was going to say, what kind of decal did yeah. he put on? No, he's got no, a no. giant Roadrunner <laughs> stuffed animal taped, taped. You see the Velcro and everything right to the dashboard. It's such a pretty dashboard for a car. And he put a Roadrunner doll. Yeah, it's a Roadrunner doll. It's a little doll. stuffed. It's, it's not little. My first car <laughs> was a, a, a Roadrunner. Okay, when I got that car, somebody bought me that Roadrunner, and I've had it in every car since. Me, me. What is the big deal? <laughs> Mimi, me, me. it's, it's not like it's on the roof. It's not on the roof of you the truck. See, so you're okay? sitting there and you're like, wow, oh, this is please. a cool car. Come on. And is that what you're doing? You're sitting there looking at my dash? Now it's noisy. I said, Mike, what is that piece of shit taped to the... To, 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 is that a Roadrunner? What garbage you got on And Mike's, you left now? And Mike's afraid bastard. to say anything because if he does, like, Ronnie will bite his head off. Yeah. So he uh, just sits there straight face. He goes, uh, that's something Ronnie has. And, you know, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait really a start. minute. Hold on. Mike has got NASCARs taped to his dashboard. He didn't goof on you. I'm just telling you, I couldn't believe what I was saying. Uh, this is this is just. Uh, Ronnie, I said, "What is?" Right, I said, what there is, you go. I said, "What is Roadrunner?" And uh, and then Mike told me that Ronnie loves Roadrunner. That his first car was Roadrunner, and his license plates. All right, I'll take that off. But uh, but the, uh, evidently there's a big Roadrunner no thing. At least he didn't. I didn't look. Clog up the window. It was pouring. Anything. I don't know. No, it might be. No, I, I have no. I have decals all over the. Back no, 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 no. I have. On the back, there's one little NASCAR sticker. It's about this big. No, you had a lot of them. Not on this truck. No. Because I knew you would rip my ass apart. <laughs> he wanted And I got one little sticker this big. It's a Sirius Satellite Radio on it. All right, that's okay. That Richie gave me. That's put on. Fine. Okay? That's it. Playboy mud flaps? Shut up, asshole. You got nothing to say to me. <laughs> you caused this whole thing with audio. Okay? No, that thing with the fir your first car is a big thing. That's why I actually have a matador on my dashboard now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned. Well, I learned that. You need one in your car, man. To ride with you, it's like, forget it. I, I know. Right? Why? Dude, I you know, never right? rode in a car with him. You don't you, ever want to get... You ride once with him in a car. Why? What you'll he never do? get in a car again. You love it because I actually scared the shit out of Ron. <laughs> he scared the piss out of me. What did he what do? What did he do? We I, were at a Christmas party at Caroline's two years ago. Right. And we went over the scores afterwards. And there was a couple of scores girls there with <laughs> us and Doug Goodstein. And Florentine, I think. It was like two strippers, Florentine, Goodstein, me and was, you were my... I don't think Florentine was in the car. Yeah, he was. was I he? remember. Big, I had a big four-door Yeah, car. we get in his Mercedes, his big lump Mercedes. And he said, oh, well, I'll drive you guys over. He's loaded. I, I mean, wasn't loaded. Loaded was with the balls. balls. No, man. he wasn't. <laughs> no, he wasn't. No. I, was, I was. I was. You know. Uh, I, was just, oh. I had a couple of cigarettes. All right, a couple of <laughs> cigarettes. All right, and we're going across 50th Street. He's 50 from west to east. We're going across 50th Street. We're doing. I'm not even going to say how fast we were going. Good Lord. Probably like 90. In the city. In the city, and there's a dumpster in the street. You know, a construction dumpster? Yeah. And we're heading right for this thing. Oh, and I'm telling you, right for it. And at the last minute, he swerves out. He realized the dumpster was there. I don't. I knew it was there. Yeah, the whole time. yeah you just play, he said he was playing I with was us. Fucking around. Good. I was trying to make you scared. Went through every red light. <laughs> oh, no. Stop, he would right. stop like... Power break the car at the lights. He would come to the light with his foot on the gas and the brake at the same time. Look real quick to see if any cars are coming, and then gun it right through the intersection. He's insane. When, when we got, listen to this. When, when we got to scores, the two girls that were in the back seat ran into the bathroom and threw up. 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I gunned it, I had this sort of like maniacal laugh I would do to the chicken. You know, strippers, they, they always try to look cool. They don't want to let their guard out. Halfway into the ride, they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to die. The one shit kept going, I'm from Kansas. I don't know about this. I'm from Kansas. And they ran out of the car, and I guess they went and threw up. They went and threw up. Oh, man. We just having fun. It was Christmas time. Oh, we had time. a great time. Christmas time. But don't get in the car with them. So don't Ronnie was that. even, when he was in Vegas, was going to get a Roadrunner tattoo. No, I oh. wasn't. But instead he got oh, in. Oh, my God. Where do you come up with this stuff? That's what what are I you heard. looking at there? So Ronnie, Who writes Ronnie, this stuff? Ronnie was going to get a Roadrunner tattoo. Is that Benji? No, I heard about this. No, I wasn't. Yeah, and then you got that chameleon instead. No, it's not a chameleon. What is it? It's a panther. <laughs> we, we can never tell what that is. I thought it was a lizard. No, it's a panther. It's a lizard. It's a, tr a traditional panther. Really? That's what the guy told me. No, the guy knew you would. Sold you a bill of yeah. No, he didn't sell me a bill of <laughs> Did a great job. It looks beautiful. It's a panther, but I swear, I, th I thought, wow, it's a, chame a chameleon. Like a, like it's a changing. salamander. It's changing. No, it's a, sal like no, a it's salamander. No, it's a salamander. That's a lizard. Yeah, a salamander. I haven't seen this since the first day. Let like, me I, see it now that it it's looked here. Good. I thought it looked pretty show good. Show it on camera. People on our TV see it's a salamander. <laughs> Supposed to be a panther. Didn't even look like a panther. He was bitching and moaning for like three oh, weeks. Shut it, was, up. it was all sore and bleeding. No, and it wasn't. Dude, you don't even know what you're talking about, you fool. Why don't you come near me? Look at that thing. The salamander. I, yeah, I don't think it looks bad. I don't know. I, just, I, I didn't say it looks bad, spot. but it's, it's yeah. a good looking salamander. Let me see that. Salamander? <laughs> it's a panther. That's an awesome I'll show person. it to Robin. Let me see this. Go it's ahead. so ahead. not. It's a lizard, Ronnie. <laughs> a lizard? It really is. You're right. <laughs> I told you. That's crazy. That's if no panther. It was, if it, if it a like panther a dog, does, say that yes. looks nothing like a cat. It's a away. lizard. <laughs> away from Ask anybody. He's got a whole farm on his arm. <laughs> He's got a zoo. He's got a He's dog. He's got a zoo. He's got his dog that died. He's got. He's got a lizard, and he's got a. What is the, the other thing? Oh, there's a shark. The and shark. Gary had plenty to say, but he, he had. Gary had the worst little comment about me yesterday, like I was some kind of piece of shit. What did that's I say? Right. But that's all right. What did I say? Never mind, Gary. Uh -oh. Say it. Wow. <laughs> Never mind. Say it. Don't worry about it. Hey, please tell us. We don't know. I'll say this about Ronnie. He's a fun guy. Like, even that Merce the night with the Mercedes, I was fucking around. He wasn't mad or anything. He was just having fun. We were having yeah. fun. <laughs> He's got a lot of different things going on, Ronnie. The tattoo, the car. You know, what, you know what you said. Like, I was some kind of piece of shit. It's okay. I know where you're coming from now, too. All right, anyway, so to sum up, <laughs> what happened? What do you want, Gary? No, I know what I said, boy. For Ronnie, first of all, you know we're sort of joking around, right? No, man. Hey, I, 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 said, I heard what you said. This is what I said. It boy, was boy, serious. you're so fucking sensitive. What did you just say? I said that, you, know, you don't realize. He said that, um, you know, that we, we don't invite him to this and that. And I joked around and I said, you know, for the head of security and Howard's driver, I think we treat him really well. Yeah, I don't like know any other show. Piece of shit. I, know, I said, I don't know any other show that treats the head of security and their driver as good as we treat ours. But of course, you're like. I'm a God. piece of shit. That's okay. All right, you're a piece of shit. All right, I'm, almost, I'm almost as bad as Scott. You know what the other funny almost thing is? I'm almost as bad. You I get invited to more things. You know what the other funny thing about you is? You are the king of fucking people. 21 years, dude. Next week, 21 years. You, you, you torment Penny Crone on a daily basis yeah. doing exactly what Scott did to you. Right. Right. What do you right. think I did it to you for? Because you, you, you do it to everybody else. So there was an opportunity yeah, to bust you're, your you're, chops, and I did it. Yeah, but it wasn't. I didn't do. I wasn't running around complaining. When they were, when they were talking was, about the only one I talked to was Brian Fallon. When they were talking about and Brian, guys, Brian guys, was all upset. Also, all also when they was wait, wait. This goes on Brian all day Fallon long. wanted to go to no. Carnegie Hall in the worst way. Well, you got it wrong. When they were talking okay. about yeah. shut up, Baldy. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Brian Fallon wanted to go to Carnegie Hall in the worst way, so he said to Artie, "I'd rather." Go to Carnegie Hall and go to Atlantic City. So Artie said to him, "Don't worry about it. I'll take care of you when it comes to Carnegie Hall." Right. So now Brian Fallon's very upset with him, and he, oh, wouldn't, oh, he wouldn't come okay. in and say I it. I forgot. You see, I forgot about that. If he, okay, I I now I remember saying that. I just forgot. I, yeah, I understand that. See, but that's why I wouldn't come in and jump on you because I know how you get. Right. I know you get upset. I know it bothers you, but that's actually fucked you know what up. I'm saying? If I said that to him, and I know I said it to him, so. and I wouldn't jump on you because I didn't want you to fucking be upset when you do your show. And uh, thank you, Ron. I'm saying so obviously. I know you're, very, was, you're, you're very sensitive, also. A joke, uh, a joke guys, was played guys, guys, in your own guys, fucking guys. way. You're a very joke sensitive. was played on the both of us. Then that's what happened. All right, guys. And he's an asshole. Oh fuck! <laughs> because his joke. Please, come on. All right, guys. I had enough. Do something, do Ronnie, something good. Ronnie, Psh, out. All right. All right, enough. <laughs> wow. Anyway, what happened on the wrap-up show was that Ronnie asked. 
I, I, just listen. I don't have to explain it. Now you get the whole thing. I, I just want to let Artie know one thing, okay, Artie? What? I am not fighting with you. I could give two shits if I come to your show. That's number one. See, you, so you're being hostile, <laughs> though, right now. Hey, listen to me. I'm not mad. Hey, when you came minute. in to no, talk to no, Fred, wait. you said, I'm not going, going Fred. Up a minute. Let me talk, all right? <laughs> yeah, you're clearly not mad. No. <laughs> no, I'm not no. mad. And that's who I want watching my child. You ask, me, you ask me what I do for you? I do plenty of shit for you, dude. All right? I do plenty of shit when you ask me. Ron, I'm not being funny. What when What I, do you when do? I, when you ask me to take care of your people when they fucking come up, I take care of them all the time. Make sure oh. they're the VIP taken care of and shit. Don't Ron. tell me I don't do shit for you, okay? Oh, Ron. I don't want to hear your crap that I don't do anything for you. Oh, Ron. Uh, okay. Right? Anytime so I ever have a fucking party, Artie, I invite you to the goddamn fucking party. Hey, Ron, right? I would do the same with you. You don't think that. Not, is it not under your job description? I'm on the show and I have people coming up. Isn't it part of your job to maybe oh, take care of Ronnie, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Ronnie's nuts. When you have people come up, he lets them in? Yeah, that's what he said. That's very good of him. <laughs> he, and he shows them to the way they're supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, so... I he mean, doesn't have to do that. Am I at a lot? Yeah, he doesn't have to do that for you. So he's doing me a favor by not telling my friends who come up sometimes to be an audience in a roast to fuck off. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you like a wild animal on this. Ed Torian has the results. Yes, Ed Torian has the results of Fred and Cabby's homosexuality test. Well, let's get to it. I think we ought to bring him in. Uh, is Dominic, that, is that the gentleman I met outside? I almost beat up. <laughs> <laughs> he would not give you a lie detector. Uh, he wanted me to pay him five hundred dollars. What uh, happened to Ed? He used to come in for free, and, uh, and then we all came. Yeah, with um, a cash and carry. Give out his business cards. He's yeah, but the last time he was on, he was a little weird. Remember that with the girls? And yeah. Was excited. <laughs> nah, he was you great. He's what? always been great. Ed's a great he guy. He never complains when it's girls. I think it was because it was a bunch of it's guys. A bunch, a bunch of homos. Right. Right. gay guys. Right. He, Maybe he got excited. Mm. Rush up on any boobies. Maybe Jackie got a hold of him. Told him to hold up. Some money. You know, they make an awful lot of money there. Ed, what happened? You want to give Dominic a lie detector? You're getting the. Uh, you did 10. You're tired. You're tired. It's too How much work. What do you usually do in a day? No, I keep doing just so many. Okay. It wasn't sex, it was a test. Yeah, I see the sex. <laughs> Ed all of a sudden became a star. Not breaking yeah. Yeah. I remember in the old days. Yeah, he's not oh, taking a ditch yet. Remember the old, <laughs> I remember in the old days, Ed Torian was like a guy, hey, you want a lie detector? Yeah, whatever give you one. they wanted. Ed, I remember when you called somebody, me. Somebody got a hold of you. Who, me? Yeah, somebody gave you a talk. Oh, that sounds like Beatles. Who grabbed you in? No, one of your partner or something. Ed looks like a different guy. He's got his hair combed, new black suit shirt. Yeah. He used to call Howard Sir the first time you came. No, never, never, no. never. Never would do that. Never, oh, never. sir. Ed, let's go right to the tests. Okay. okay. We're not going to get the truth out of Ed. First of all, with Fred... Okay, Fred's got some problems. Oh! I knew it. I knew it. I, knew it. I called it. We didn't need you to tell me that. I called it. I called it. Does he have a gun? you have a gun on you? Please, Dominic. Don't ruin my bet. It's a Dominic show. So what are Fred's problems? Uh, number six. Okay, first of all. Number five. Fred was deceptive on his first name. Oh, God. Right, because his name is Eric. He's confused. No, it's, uh, I asked him if it's Fred. And what did yeah, he say? He changed it. <laughs> he told me, yeah. Well, he was lying. Oh, he, his he's real lying. name. His legal name is Eric. His real legal yeah, name so is Eric. So does this right. prove that the test is right or what? Uh, right, no. Freddie? Yeah, yeah it Casey. doesn't. It just proves that I am confused yeah. about my name. All right, go ahead. Ed, fabulous work so <laughs> far. <laughs> Number five, have you ever received or given oral sex to another man? What did Fred say? This one was, uh, number six. What number five. Right. Have you ever received the next a one? He was deceptive one. I don't have the questions. With you. Number five. I'll give you the questions. Number ever received number, number five? Seven. He wants. To, he said the se deceptive well, was number seven. Number seven. He's deceptive. I don't have the questions. Okay. Number seven. Point. Have you ever touched another man's penis in a sexual way? Right. He was deceptive on it. Deceptive. Yeah. I never have. What about? Is yeah, that the only one he was deceptive oh, no, on? No, no. When I finish with that one. Go ahead. <laughs> Go get the mic next to Ed, please. Number eight, whatever number eight is. Are you sexually attracted to men? Right, he was deceptive. He, he said was. no. I laughed, accepted. actually, at that question. And That's number nine. Lying. Yeah, that means you're lying. Number no, nine, doesn't. aside from what you discussed on the air, are you, holding anything, are you holding anything back no, about gay sex? He passed that. He passed that, okay. All right. So you feel he's deceptive, that he is attracted to men? <laughs> no, that's not what he said. <laughs> yes, it is. Number eight. That's not what Are you sexually what attracted to men? And he said that you said uh, he is. you I'm are. saying you are. I laughed at that question. Uh, Come on, Ed, speak. Give him the microphone. No, he, uh... He likes men. He likes men. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> if Thank you. you say so, Ed, I guess I'm doomed for life. Let's go to Crazy Cabby, who was the last person you did. Poor Cabby. Is he the only one left? We asked Cabby the following questions. I'm going to... 
jump to number um, four. Is everything you said on the air about gay sex true? Number four. Well, that might need to be a different question for Ed. Well, he was truthful about that one. He was. Number five, oh, wow. uh, uh, Number six, rather. Are you gay? He was deceptive. He failed that question. I knew he was. Because he said no, but he is gay. He's gay. He's gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> He told us on the air that his last gay experience was in 1996. Was your last gay experience in 1996? He said yes. And he was deceptive. He was deceptive. He's had others. Right. Uh -huh. Are you attracted to Howard Stern? How did he answer that? He, he said uh, no, but he's attracted to me. Ah! Yes. <laughs> I knew it. The dude, the dude calls me five times a day. He's attracted to in a sexual way. Yeah. He's attracted. He's attracted. I'm attracted to your to your whole thing. Sure, sure, sure. Have you ever told? And then finally, number nine, Ed. Have you told us everything about your gay experiences? Uh, he was. <laughs> he was deceptive, right? Oh, he's got a lot more to tell you. He does. He, does. he told him back. I said that I never told. I, I no. said, have I told everything? I said, no. Because yeah, you I haven't. haven't. You haven't. You haven't. No, and haven't. you've been having other gay experiences besides yeah. 1996. 1996. Dude, admit it. I couldn't remember the exact year. It's been a while ago. Man, like a week. Dude, you are 100% homosexual. Ed can't even look at him now. He said that. Ed, is it fair to say, after a full show of this, that the only two guys who are sort of dealing in a real manly way is myself and Stuttering John? That's right. That's John it. only had one problem. Right. Touching penis. Oh, he's coming at <laughs> so the only guy, Casey was gay. Casey well, Hogan. What is going uh, on here? Uh, we, knew, we knew that Cabby, right. Ka Kathy, whatever his name is, is gay. Yeah. But now it turns out he's even more gay than we thought. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Ralph has gay issues. Fred has gay issues. It's exactly as I predicted oh, down the line. No. Thank you. I'm telling you, these guys are all... I'm sitting in a room full of homos. I'm, 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 I'm the only man, I'm man here. Ed, I'm I'm you have man. uncovered something today. Like you would, oh. even, like, Ed's going to pass out. <laughs> See, this is a lot for him. You know what? Ed, was that what it was? It, oh, it was man. draining for you. It's not so bad when we have the girls in here, but when it's all the gay guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's just talking. You know. All these fags. Because Ed's all man. Yeah. Has uh, Ed ever flushed out this many thing. gay guys in one city? You know, I can read the test. Let's do Ed. I can read the test. Ed, Ed is all man. Oh, Ed, Ed Torian is all man. I wasn't deceptive. I just moved. <laughs> hey, Howard. Howard, uh, speaking of Tabby, one more thing. Angry Black showed up outside. He must have yelled at him. Oh, no. Well, that's one thing, but Ed Torian, I want to thank you. Okay, yeah. It's yeah, a Torian investigation. Well. Okay, yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks, Ed. Okay, you did a great job today. I know it was very taxing for you. Yeah, thanks no, a lot. Get out of here. Yeah, there's a lot of gays in here. You know, it's thanks okay a lot, Ed. in this room, Ed's afraid he'll be converted. Uh, thank you, Ed. <laughs> You know, We're gonna give you exhaustive? your career is not shot. You uncovered a lot of gayness, and there's nothing wrong with no, it. His wallet's just full. He's got to carry it. That's why he's exhausted. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna sit in the middle of those guys dominating. <laughs> Get out of here, you. <laughs> Get out, Ralph. Homo. Big homo. <laughs> Ralph, hey, you're gay. Hey, Cabby. No, I'm, I'm not gay. That's ridiculous. I, Do you see how I can? Am I gay? It all works. I knew Fred had issues. Yeah. Well, I know your question. That means you're gay. No, nope. you surround yourself with gay men. No, nope. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. but you're one of the gay bags. You know what? You I'll tell you so something. Bad. You are so good at hiding. No, you are so good at hiding. No, I'll tell you the truth, Fred. I am. You know, I know. I'm not gay. These, I never had these feelings or thoughts until you put them in my head. Oh. I knew you were gay because, no, no. when I saw you drunk and you had That's gay true. rich and you were loving him. Like oh, I yeah. never saw you uh -huh. be loving toward a man or right. woman. And right. I never, I didn't it. see that scene, but I you remember some, I Howard's remember reaction it. was. But let's read. I don't. I don't. Uh, by the way, I don't that, hold it against you. I love you. Oh yeah. You're but my brother. No, no, I'm right. Right. How, I mean, Fred, how could you say Howard put these thoughts in your head? Because, because he's, he's so easily he's, manipulated. He's always the one that's like saying, oh, "I think you're gay. I think you're gay." It's like, in your course, you're gonna start asking questions. You, geez, you have gay feelings. Right? I run the gay juju. Yeah, wait. All the guys who are listen. You know how you know I'm hetero? Beside everything else that I look heterosexual. I'm going to tell you something. You are? Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. You look you do? I'm not uptight about gayness. It's not an issue for me. Then why do you bring it? Live and let live. No, it is an issue. Why do you bring it? No. I have to. I am not a homophobe. But right. wait a minute. Let's ask the following issue. I passed the test. I don't what? think you're hiding anything. I you? think you're uptight about it. Oh, I'm so uptight. I flunked the test. Right? Everybody like you who flunked out. You can't even. You can't even answer the questions if you're gay or not. You're so screwed up. I didn't say. I. I didn't say you had anything. You like, Ed? I don't know how to take the test. What do I say? I'm just saying. I passed. Go ahead. You always hang around. 
around with gay guys. Yeah. Well, that's I, true. I have you didn't no problem. You realize you were hanging around you, with so many gay guys. You say the truth. Who knew they were all gay? They had thought of course, Tammy was straight. Hey, if you're not gay, then let me bang you. What? Father issues. My no, father and I get along issue. fine. There was still an issue of why do you want to be gay, gay so Dominic? I always had him as gay. I have to apologize. Nah, no, gay. I'm so all man. You have no idea. So with people who are, I have had sex no with a man. Is. What is he done? <laughs> and KC, I knew you were gay. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm not gay. All right? Dude, the lie detector. The lie detector has and it's no water. All right, it's all wrong. Casey, Casey, the only one who knows you're gay is you. Uh, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm not gay. It just proved my point. Let's go to Double A. Double A's on the phone. Casey, hey, big congratulations, fat. congratulations, Howard. Thank you. No homo there, buddy. No problem, Bob. Boy, is it all around? Johnny Boy pants with flying. Me and right. John, we are not attracted to men. Oh yes, yeah, <laughs> boy. Kick <laughs> ass, go after the women. Thank you, Howard. Let me just let me just tell you one thing, okay? All the people in here, what is about eight people, right? They say right. ten percent uh, of the population is gay, right? Well, right. This right. guy said that over. Half of us was gay. Come on. Yeah. So what? So what? Crap. It doesn't but matter. You're, 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 you're in, you're in show business. business. Right. right. It's the industry you're in has a lot of gay. So, so you tell me. I had about 80 guys on my football team. You tell me a couple of those guys were gay? Absolutely. Yeah. No. 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 We're telling you, you were one hey. of the gay guys. No, so you're, uh, you're <laughs> on the air. What's the fuck? Yes. Hey, I got proof that Jazzy's gay. How do you know? I got. I want to find some K Rock, and he made me come up for four more sex on him. Uh, there you go. Yeah, and you were you were no good. By the way, Cabby, I think when you should have learned. You should have learned something from your test. You're a gay man. I'm not gay. I yeah, feel good about it. I'm you know what? Add one I feel add good about the fact that I was able to come on this you show should. And, and, and be perfectly honest. You should. And you know what? I feel good about the fact that my point was proven that this room and a lot of rooms around this world, there's men who've had either thought about it or done it, and they all deny it. And you know what? I don't have to deny it, and neither do you. You were 100% right. I you was admitted st- your gayness, and let me say something. Okay. Come you on. were right about the men in this room. Yep. A lot of them in there have gay tendencies. And why did you Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There could be one Fred, you factor. included. Oh, yeah. You there included. There could be another factor. Okay, whatever. Well, that means your book, Miss America. How about put on a dress. The, how about I could put on a dress from here tomorrow. I ain't going to have to think uh, about gay sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're ready? You're just trying to... Howard, can I ask you a funny question? I don't mind putting on a dress. Oh, my God. What about... I'll put on a bra and Let me ask you... Hey, Fred. Yeah, hon. Do you think maybe the reason why it was it, that, that you that you fell was because was, you had gay rich on your lap and stuff? You think maybe that was why? It was no, gay. No, I was pissed off that I had to wait so goddamn long, and it's like oh. everybody's, everybody's like in here. Everybody's got an excuse. No, no, no. Well, 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 here's the deal. Well, well, well. Everybody's getting on the air. And given the results of the test, this one flunked, that one flunked. It's like, and after all, you're going, Jesus Christ, what chance do I have? I oh, my God, Fred, stop it. Oh. Stop what? Stop it. Hey, Fred. Stop hey, Fred. Gay, if you've hey, thought about it. I mean, it doesn't really mean you're gay. Hey, Fred. I mean, come on. Do you think it was gay having gay rich in your lap? I have no idea. I don't even recall it, John. I really don't it was remember. A it was a tender, tender moment. I really don't remember. Tender you know, moment. Was, hey, Fred, what's the big deal? So you're gay. Who cares? Yeah, but there's not gay. one more factor. That's right. <laughs> you know, maybe John... You can say it all you want. He's really upset about it. Oh, he is. Yeah. And the idea that he... Hey, I didn't flunk the test. Wait a minute. Did, uh, I don't the believe idea that he got more gay as he heard results. Yeah. No, but that's the worst argument of the That's not what I said, Robin. I said nervous. Already? Have you uh, guys taking any anti-anxiety drugs because that affects your results? Fred uh, isn't. No. It I'm taking a Luvox for OCD, it Dominic. The I don't test. care. Oh, you're you're saying saying the the whatever. The following people oh, were shown to have yeah. gay thoughts. And this, I'm going to end this discussion. The following go. people. How about you, Howard? Do you take anything? Like Nothing. Relax Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, doesn't matter. The following people were... <laughs> you didn't take anything today. No. no. <laughs> the following people and their results have gay tendencies. All right. Who are they? Ralph? No, it didn't say it said I moved. Fred Norris. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. No, I had nothing. Yes, you do. No, wait a minute. Stop it. You're trying to give a list and I can't even hear it. I will give you the list again. If I can get uh, get, uh, no interruption. Fred Norris. No. (laughs) <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll start again. Start it all, I'll start again. Start it all you I'm going to start again. Okay. Right, here I go. I'm going to start again. Fred no. Norris. <laughs> Fred Norris. No. Eric Norris. No. And Fred Norris. No. And Howard Stern. Okay. <laughs> Ralph. No. KC. It was like a big fat one because it wasn't me. Oh, KC. Suck it. <laughs> uh, a man who admitted to gay sex yeah, and I, it's I, pulled I, him I, like I, Cabby. Whatever. 
And there you go. And Reggie. I, and you yep. and I and John are the only ones. Uh, well, you didn't, uh, you didn't, didn't take it. Uh, you didn't take it. You big fool. And I know Fred's angry about it, but I passed. Yeah. Yep. I'm not angry about it. I'm angry about the fact you're trying to characterize me in a specific way. I'm just saying. All I'm not, I, saying don't mind test. That, I don't mind that I flunked a test. Oh, I didn't all right. The, the following pass. people flunked the test. Why wouldn't you expect to pass it, Fred? Because these things spook me. The following people flunked the test. Would you be fair with that? Uh, okay. The following people flunked the test. Fred Norris. <laughs> Eric Norris. Eric Norris. Oh, it's the Dominic show again. Ralph Sorella. I want to go again. Ralph, this is an outrage. Ralph is claiming that he moved on one question. Yeah, but he failed before. It doesn't matter. How many times no. do you take yeah. it? He failed the, te the question about I've attraction to men. Twice. Right. Well, I, there's men who are attracted. Dude, 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 you're gay. You're gay. Sorry, you're gay. When you plunk that wait question, second, you're gay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Would you look at a, a good-looking guy and say no. he's attractive? No. Oh, no. Come on. I won't. You, 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 come on. You, you, you say that all the time. Right. Come on. To make you feel comfortable. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Calm me down, you little fat. It's real. It's real. The lie detectors with you is smoking. You know. The only way to prove you, you're not gay is to go with Irma. I'm going to go nail your wife now. Wait a minute. Casey you're did silly. almost break the machine. Yeah. No. Look. Hey, some, guy, some guy touches your hog, and I'm gay. You failed You failed the test. You I failed the test fail. because the test is stupid. Okay. Casey, come whatever. out of the class. I was laughing whatever, at every question. Whatever gets you come through on, the night, pal. I'm telling you. I don't wet my bed. I don't have trouble getting it up for girls. because I got mental problems. I haven't got gay problems. Yeah. That's, that's a mental problem. No, it's not. I'm quite happy. You're, you're, you're mental no, because no, you're gay. No, my sexuality is one thing. And you're mad that you're gay. No, no, Admit you're gay. No, my sexuality is one thing that I'm comfortable with. Admit you're gay. and And then you won't get in bed. I'm not! So what is it, Casey? Uh, Al Pacino is too wound up about this. Yeah, because he needs to argue with me. I'm telling you, I'm not gay. Look at him. Look at, look Al Pacino's baby. There's one thing that's been overlooked about this whole thing. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that Casey's polygraph came out in the shape of a penis? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. All right, let's do some news. Dominic, can you stay? Oh, you have to leave. What are you going to do? You have a client going to jail today? No, like a divorce today. A divorce. I still have the largest divorce in criminal practice. It's still wonderful and working hard. And I'll see yeah, you Dominic, go make some more money for me. Get, get out there. Yeah, yeah work hard. Work and, hard. Ralph, when are you going out with Dominic's ex-wife? I have to call her, but probably this weekend. You'd rather go out with Dominic. Right. <laughs> this weekend? Yeah. It's the last chance. Is it me or her? You can have both. I'll make sure you're good, Dominic. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know what, Ralph? Ralph, Ralph you go, you go no, it's with not, it's, not like, it's not like I'm going to go have sex with her. We're going to go hang out. We've been trying to do the I'm Dominic test. Anyway, I'm not bothered. Now, but what? you're not bothered, Dominic. Somebody just gave me a kiss. Oh, hey, the guy's wealthy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Like that feel. All right, get out of here, please. Hours ago, I'll tell you. said Dominic up you know, for his phone number as well. This is good for the TV show. Watch Dominic get out of the seat. So I'm really so good. Ask a guy who's in law about if I can call for legal advice, John, and that's a problem. No, but then he's going to be, you know, All right, everyone get out now. It's Look too much you noise. Girls, get out of here. Everyone leave. It's too much noise. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't think so. Winner, winner, sheen dinner. I should read you some of this. I got so many things to get to. Wait a minute. We were talking about Richie's wedding. Oh, yes. I just think this is funny because there's a very clear line of who Richie Wilson likes now and, and who he doesn't. Is that right? And I, I always think a wedding brings out the best in people because <laughs> there's three people. Like, like, like Scott the Engineer is invited. Richard and Sal are invited. Uh -huh. JD was invited. Oh. I was invited. You were invided. I assume, Fred, were you invited? Oh, is he gone? Where is Fred when you Fred's need him? Fred's not here? Where is he, Bigfoot Jr.? I don't know about that guy, but I got a question for you. I would you rather fuck or eat a squirrel? Because it's a tie for me. Yeah. <laughs> Fred, were you invited to Richie Wilson's uh, uh, little shindig? I'll tell you, I might be. <laughs> I got like a save the date notice, but I don't well, think then I've you gotten, were. I don't have the official. Well, then thing. you were, yeah. Fred is so odd. Why is that odd? <laughs> they don't send you a save the date if you're not invited. <laughs> save the date and no, don't come. No, because they, they will do. No, they will do that. <laughs> like that. They go save the date and then they and then they send you an official. Well, invite. yeah, of course. Right. But but when they send. <laughs> what, what, Junior, do you understand him? Yeah, um, I understand him perfectly clear it is. Uh, <laughs> he speaks my language, this guy. Uh, he's the only guy in the show you do understand, right? Yeah, you know, because I see Fred, he's always eating his pen caps, it is, and I thought I was the retarded one. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you get to save the date, Fred, that means you were invited. Okay, well. Yeah, okay. I misunderstood. Right, all right. 
Because, Robin, how many times have you gotten a save the date card and then and not, then been not getting, gotten an invitation? Right. <laughs> but it's not the same thing, is it? Well, no, it, it's not, but it, it indicates you're invited. It's, but it's, it's, so you just admit it, it's not the same thing. Well, but they don't send save the dates to people they're not going to invite. I, I, I can't believe I'm arguing about this. <laughs> this is why I have limited contact with friends. <laughs> and that's why I prefer it that way. I like all the email I get. Why don't you talk more to Fred on the air? Well, you talk to him. Right, Bigfoot? Bigfoot Junior, I mean. Yeah, that's right, Junior. Hey, I got a question. Where's Robin? Is I can hear her voice, but I can't see her. Is she a dead ghost? It is. <laughs> She's a dead ghost. That's right. This is the ghost of Robin. All I know is if Robin, I can't see you, but if I find you, I'm going to fuck you like a wild mammal it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm lost. Well, Robin, you just stay away then. <laughs> uh, you want to hear from John Lieberman with some headlines? Please. But Oh, oh so wait. Oh, let, wait let me, a minute. Yeah, who, who don't we like? So the following people, I'm assuming Fred's invited because he got to save the day. Well, according to you, I am. Right. Well, according to the universe, you are. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. i never seen anybody get so upset over nothing. No, Fred, <laughs> you, you're confused whether you were invited? you got to save the I'm date. not confused. I was just telling you. A, a, no, they put that's you your interpretation that I'm confused. You because you're not invited. What's that? They sent you a save the date to torture you because you're not invited. They just want to go like nanny. Oh, is nanny. that what they did? Yes. I didn't know that. All right. Um, the three guys who that I've determined out of the whole staff who aren't invited. Uh-huh. Gary Delabate. Hmm. Will. Will. And Steve Brandano. Like, Jason was even invited. Wow. It's just Steve Brandano, Gary, and Will. Isn't that interesting? I was invited to it is, but I was told not to save the date. Oh, you got to <laughs> not save the date. Card. Yeah, I got on my card that says, do not save date. <laughs> <laughs> Fred is invited, I assume, if he got to save the date yes, card. Yes, yeah, they were mailed out about a week or two ago. So right. Maybe Fred doesn't listening. know that. I didn't get it. Okay. Well, no, you got saved today. No, I got one like months and yeah, months Yeah, the actual invites just ago. went out. That just went out. That's what I was yeah. talking about. I did not get that. <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> I'm not the jerk off. Dude. You're the jerk off. Who's the jerk off? You. Before, Junior. Who's the, who's the jerk off? Oh, yeah, off he's going to say he's going to go against you. What do you mean you was the jerk off? I just jerked off out in the green room it is. So I guess it's me. <laughs> So why not Gary? Why not? I mean, like, if you're inviting every... It's almost like you've invited everyone. We forgot Lisa G. She's off. And Lisa G is off. Yeah. So, like, you sat down with a list of the staff and mm -hmm. you decided, like, those four people are not coming. Yeah. Why? Okay. T take them in any particular order you want. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, we'll start with Lisa G. Right. Would you want her yours? Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, did you I invite, mean, did you invite John Lieberman? Lieberman, yeah. Lieberman's a fun guy. I love hanging out with him, and I socialize with him. I I enjoy being around him, and after seeing him dance at the Christmas party, there's no way I wouldn't have him. <laughs> but the way I look at it is, if you're going to invite everyone, because you're basically inviting everyone to leave those four people mm -hmm. out, is it such makes a them statement. stick out. Yeah, you, yeah. you can't invite everybody. The place holds 150 <laughs> people. Uh, that's true. Max. Right. So, so you have to have a cutoff. You have to have a cutoff, and. I, I wasn't wasn't invited to Will's wedding. Right. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's a, that's a good rationale. I All like right. Steve, and, but we don't socialize out of the workplace. But do you socialize with Fred? No, but Fred Fred and I have a lot of conversations about motorcycles and oh, really? music. And, and we oh, really? I'm so the, sorry. Like, like, <laughs> and, and, and I also look See, at it like... he likes me, Howard, unlike you. <laughs> I also look at it with people who I would like to hang out with more. But why not Gary? Do you, do you guys have a genuine feud? I'm not, I'm not a feud. We're very cordial to each other in the workplace, and we're respectful to each other in work. But I, Gary, I'm, what are you insulted at all? Seriously? No, no. I totally expected not to be invited. Um, I don't think. Listen, if this were two years ago, it probably would have been a, a whole different thing. I would have had it out with Richie, but he doesn't like me. I know that, um, which is probably why I don't like him. Although in the last two years, I think Richie has changed dramatically. And he's a much nicer guy than he was two years ago, and we get along fine. I, 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 I heard you. Don't, I don't expect. I did not expect to be invited. First and of all, I'm not insulted. I, first of all, Richie, I think Gary, uh, all jokes aside, is like one of the nicest fucking human beings on the planet. He is. How do you not like Gary? He's he's taken a few shots at me. He has. Yeah, he has, and. And I don't hang out with him outside. Like what, of the what is it? What kind of shot does he take? Uh, there was one time where they, you guys were playing the, the uh, like some giant Super Bowl, the drunks after the game. Right. And for no reason, he just walks over to me. and Goes, I see that you being that kind of guy. For no like it totally, 
I don't even understand, but it sounds like you said something, Gary. And, and then, I, I, you know what? We had a weird incident at your wedding. I think that for me, that for me is where it started. That was when I realized he didn't like me. What 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 happened? I went to go. He had a, a run-in with Sam Ben Ruby, and so I was standing next. So I went to talk to him. And he gave me, like, the big palm, you know, the hand, like, get the fuck out of my face. I think he was, like, on the phone or something, which I didn't recognize. But it was it was really odd and really rude. And I was like, well, I, I remember leaving that night going, sort of, fuck him, especially in light of what happened with him and Sam. Because what happened with him and Sam was, Sam wanted to talk to him at your wedding, and uh, Richie wouldn't respond. It wouldn't wouldn't acknowledge him. Wow. So Sam said, hey, man, you, you're not going to talk to me? And he goes, I don't talk to you at work. Why would I talk to you here? And he walked away. No. So you seem like you one see, of the nicest see, guys, too. Here's, I, the, here's the thing. Gary's taking shots at me way before that. Well, what's, what's with Sam and the attitude? Sam's like one of the nicest no, guys, too. I, I, I've been here 15 years. I've never had an interaction with Sam. Yeah, but he was and trying one, to socialize on, And then, then one day I'm in the hall, and he just walked by and passed some obnoxious remark. Oh, he did? Yeah. So oh, I was like, fuck say? you. I was doing some work, and he just... He, I don't remember the exact remark, but he oh. passed a snide remark, and the one time you speak to me in 15 years is some obnoxious oh, remarks, well, so fuck you. That's different. I didn't know that. that that's right. that's but, my answer. But at Howard's wedding, you can't just be cordially say yes and don't walk away? You were, like, making a scene, sort of. I... I, Gary, did you see it or did you hear that? He told me what happened. Okay, so you didn't see it, so I wasn't making a scene. If I was making a scene, more people would have seen it, right? It's true. That's why it's called a scene. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you know, the thing is, I don't remember taking shots at Richie, and I, and I never really had anything against it, but I felt that he didn't like me, and I was sort of like, well, fuck him then. But you weren't invited to Jason's wedding, so no. how come you're inviting well, him? Rachel's very fond of Jason. They email a lot. They they. They converse uh, so a lot. Rachel, so, oh, okay. Yeah, and John Hine, because Rachel and John Hine have a past history working together. Right, right, right. right. Okay, that makes sense. It is a method to the madness. It's so great. <laughs> I love it. Like, there's, like, things that go on here, Robin, we have no idea. I know. There are things out in the hall that happen between people. We don't have a clue. Clue me in, because I'm interested, because I, I respect you. Is You think Gary's lazy, right? Everyone says that. No, I don't think he's lazy. I've heard you criticize him behind his back. I, I, and say I, he's no, lazy. I'll say th I'll say this because yeah. I'm not going to shy away from anything. I think in the past few years, and I'll probably be probably be the only one to vocally say it here out loud. Go I ahead. think he's gotten arrogant in the past few years. Oh, I think he's developed a little bit of an ego in the past few years. That's interesting. I see. I, I need to hear this feedback, you know, because he works for me. Yeah. And I need to. I, I don't see. I that. mean, like there was an incident once where. I know he told the camera guy to turn it off so he could talk shit. Right. Like that, that was, there, there was going to be a segment here once when a guy wanted to come in and perform some sort of fat injection surgery. Yeah. And it was on the schedule for a while. And I brought it up like, that's an open surgery in the middle of a studio. We can't have it. Right. And then he bitched like, who the fuck is Richie Wilson to do my job? Right, right, right. I, I don't think that happened that you, way at all. But, but the other thing is, I think that sometimes when I got here, Howard, you told me to take more charge. Right. And I think some people see that as arrogance. When you have to be in charge, you have to tell people they can and can't do things. And when you used to be a different person, some people get a chip on the shoulder about it. Well, it's not a chip on the shoulder. It's not, when, you turn, when you say turn the camera off so you can pass a comment saying, who the fuck is he? Then I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I genuinely have no idea what you're talking about. But I would say that if, if anybody would be the definition of a chip on their shoulder... It would be you, although I don't think that's true of you anymore. But I think there was a period of time where you had an enormous chip on your shoulder. I mean, I always I think, have that. I think, again, I wouldn't be the only one to say that, too. But, again, I said I talked to Howie about this at dinner the other night. I don't think I've changed. I think you've changed. Now, you know what's interesting? Last week during the tap at the segment, you made a remark, Howard, saying, I wonder why nobody likes Richie. Right. And I went in the back and I said, I guarantee that came from Gary because they had dinner the night before and he mm. talked shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he didn't. No, but I know that a couple of people said to me they don't like Richie Wilson. Right. He's, you know, he's a tough guy. I don't tries care. To, they, I mean, that's. I mean, I don't care if they do or they don't. Like What's when he Gary, Gary though, like, is that when, true? Like, how? like when Gary yeah, said, I, I, "Listen, you know, people report to me." Like, like when Gary said before, really? yeah. Richie doesn't like me, so I don't like him. To me, that's immature and childish. If someone doesn't like me, I'll still like them because I don't. I don't care. Yeah, but then you that's said you won't invite Will to your wedding because Will didn't invite you. And, Jason didn't and there's invite a couple. You to his wedding, but you invited Jason. So it's did you hear five minutes ago when I said Rachel's very fond of Jason and has a, and has a rapport with him? So that's why she invited him. But, then, but again, me, I understand. You, you know, Jason and Will have always sort of, you know, <laughs> you're really going out of your way to single out people that you don't like. Okay, so did you like Tom Chiasano? I did. did. Did you invite him to your wedding? Did not. Okay. There you go. What does that mean? I don't know. I thought he said he. I thought he said he did like him. I'm sorry. I thought he said people, he did. There were many people I liked that I did not invite to my wedding. 
I think that it's very clear that people you didn't. So are you not inviting no. Gary as revenge for Tom? No, I mean like I like Will. I like Will a lot. Right. And Anybody we, else? Will, are you insulted? Now's your time to speak up. I mean, Will hurt. said it once. Will said it with, with his wedding list. There's an A team and a B team. You can't invite everybody. If you only left off four people. Right. I, I mean, right. You know what I mean? Like he left off a, a four people you selected. It's interesting. I wasn't like offended until I heard the rest of the list, and I was like, "Geez, <laughs> you're on that I list." I thought uh, <laughs> even Scott the engineer is invited. Like I've hung out with Scott outside of work. I understand that, but no one invites Scott the engineer to anything. <laughs> you're supposed to forget Scott. Yeah, you're supposed to forget to invite him. <laughs> it's just weird. I think he has I mean, a little Tabitha bit. Tabitha Stevens was invited. I think Richie really? has a little bit of a beef with me, but he won't admit it. Like <clears throat> there was a long period there where he was just really kind of cold to me, and I said to him straight up, "I said, did, did I did I do something to offend you?" And he said no. So what am I going to do? I take and, him and at his word. And when you said that to me, I I said maybe I have been kind of cold to Stan and we've been cool since then. Yeah, we've and been good. I, I reflected. And I said, okay, uh, maybe I, I get. A, I, I love something. you. I'm sorry. I do. You know, I don't there was really... an incident once with Gary where he even did something fucked up to Rachel. Hmm? Oh really? Oh really? I yeah, didn't know and, that. Uh, what did he do? He she was in the green room getting her hair done for the bonus show, and he walks in and this this was seen by a few people. He goes, I need that chair you're sitting on. I need that chair you're sitting on. And okay, okay, take the chair. It was so he can get a haircut by Tony in the other room. Oh, oh <laughs> wow. I didn't know that. Like that, like that was just that, that, that's not right. That, that was a shit. Move. That's a shit move. <laughs> Gary, did you do that? Uh, possibly. I don't know. It's possible. Dude, there's a, Howard, there's a million places to sit in there, and we needed a, we needed a chair that moves, and, and that was the one. It's no, you big, needed a chair. Yeah, yeah. Well, not we. Well, me and John, but it's not that it's not that big a deal. There's a whole sofa in there. And well, you could you like, could say, you know, hey, Ray. She was getting her hair and makeup done. You can't get it on a sofa. It probably something more like this. Doesn't matter, Do Gary. Need a haircut. It probably went with something more like this. Do you mind if we borrow that chair? But Richie probably. No, 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 no. There were other people here. If they want to come in, or if they want to. Say it happened that way. Well, I know this must be good because John Lieberman has his microphone out. He's like, <laughs> John, <laughs> he's ready to report. He's ready to cover this one. Bigfoot Jr., you believe this? What goes on here? No, I can't believe it at all. Is but I figured I could at least try to sum it up. Gary's professional relationship with Ritzy is like at a nine. But his personal relationship is like a two it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, you're right. You're making sense for one. Uh, Good for you. Bigfoot Junior, everybody. Well, anyway, I don't know what's going to happen. John Lieberman, do you know anything about this? Or is he? Is this news to him, too? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, all right. Here, here's the official news report on Richie's wedding. All right. Uh, who knew? Who knew all John this was on top of this like, For the ones that you say, like, don't like me, then don't. Be nice to my face. To me, to me, that that's bullshit. If yeah. I don't like someone, I, they're gonna know it. They always say, I have to work I've, with I've, you. I'm not gonna be a dick to you. I gotta work with you. We just worked together yesterday. Should I be? Hey, fuckhead, come in here and look at this. Or like, hey, let's go and look at this together. Okay, that's fine. We have, like I said earlier, we have a cordial, respectful, working but, relationship. But can I ask you a question? Have you not noticed in the last year that I have made an effort to be nicer to you? No. Then that's you. That's who you are. That's who I am. He hasn't. Tr you don't. You don't detect this uh, new nice Gary. No. No. <laughs> no I, actually, I actually thought I'd gone out of my way to be nicer to Richie, but you know, I guess if you don't kiss his ass, it's not enough. See, like he gets all angry. Like, like it's childish to me. Like I don't right. like you. So you don't like me, and you don't kiss. I never asked you to kiss my ass. Never once. Well, I didn't kiss your ass. I just said I made an effort to be nicer to you, and I think if somebody makes an effort to be nicer to you and you rebuff that, that might be considered a little childish. So how have you been nicer? Yeah, in what ways are you nice? I've just been, i just been really, I, I think... I, How many times have you invited me to your little man cave for a football thing? How many times have you invided me to lunch? Times, How many times... No, answer the question. I'm going to answer. How many times have I had people to my man cave? Once. I didn't invite... I didn't invite really? Brian. Once? Once. I didn't invite Brian Phelan. I didn't invite... Uh, uh, um, uh, Doug, I didn't a ton of people. Why do you want to go to his house? No, no, no I'm so just saying. I was that, there. It's horrible. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's, a, that's a stupid thing. How did you say that? There's a lot uh, sorry, of I forgot. <laughs> there's only eight chairs and four bar stools, and the bar stools were taken. Yeah, but ha have you ever invited me once to hang out with you socially? Go to lunch, hang out, or anything? Have you ever? But I don't hang out with any. I've never, I don't take JD to lunch. I don't take Tracy to lunch. I don't hang out socially. I don't live in the city. Where are the things that I've done here socially that you've seen me do with others, but not with you? It's called, hey, let's go grab lunch at work or something. Just just if, no, saying, if you I made a concerted effort to bury the hatch, it would be nice. I don't do that with and Will and John and Jason, and I work with them every day. Yeah, I get that, Richie. He's always with he's John playing. Hine. He can't be with you. That's yeah, he's, <laughs> between you and John Hine, he wants to be That's with John true. Hine. But even, I can't tell you, even the time I spent with John Hine, I get he's that. here. He's in love with John Hine, man. Yeah. 
Those two should get married. That's yes. a bromance like I've never seen. Let everything hang out. Loading Howard Stern Audio. Playlist set to random. We're loading the Howard Stern Show tapes into the Sirius XM player and hitting shuffle. Stand by. Mode activated. Howard 101. Howard 101. Stern Show Shuffle. You don't know what you'll hear or when you'll hear it. Your favorite Howard Stern Show moments on shuffle. Continue playlist now. You should have been in here for the discussion I had with Fred during the commercials. Really? Yeah, man. I mean, it was unbelievable. I said, Fred, in all seriousness, I don't understand what your wife's doing. You're telling me th that you're not putting me on on the air? Your wife's going into... His wife opened up a store called Sunrise Ruby. And the concept is that you sell used clothing, which I've seen before. It's like goodwill for rich people. Right. It's a good way of putting like it. Like Stuttering John's wife had a gown and she got $100 for giving it to... Sunrise Ruby. Right. So, Fred's telling me is like his wife just went into his closet <laughs> and took his clothes. All of them. And I said, Fred, no. wait a second. What business sense does that make? I mean, she knows she's married to you, and she's got to make money. You've got to replace the clothing. Yeah. He goes, well, I guess she just needed inventory. And I'm like, but what sense does that make in anybody's book if she's stealing your clothing? Like, there was one shirt in there he hadn't even worn yet. You're kidding. It's a brand new shirt, so why doesn't she just go to stores and buy shirts? Because I mean, it's the same. That's not. But that's, but that's what Fred's doing. He's right. buying the shirts with his and her money. Well, yes. when I want to visit my clothes, I just walk around Tribeca. Yeah, but Fred keeps making jokes about it, and I'm like, Fred, I, I would, to. I would probably just bang my wife's head into the wall if she but did that. Th he doesn't want to do that, so he yeah. laughs. Yeah, but I don't. The, the laugh is out of place and weird. It's well, like, I don't understand the laugh. I well, mean, there's, what, what, there's, there's two ways you can Wouldn't you get in an argument with your wife and say, wait a second, you're taking my clothes out of my closet, stuff I need to wear. Do you think this is going to happen again, Fred? No, no, seriously. No, I, there's nothing left. And he's laughing like a mental there's patient. Nothing left. I don't get him. I'm like, Fred, I'm seriously. And I, and I like, I was even in here, like, banging my head into my hand. <laughs> because he's I. upset. I, no, it's, it's just that your answer is inappropriate. You no, think? it's not. You don't understand. I don't. He doesn't want to get into a fight. Right. You're but then he doesn't care about his clothes, I guess. I guess well, he's a really... He I care about his clothes, I, I care about my about You know what? I have a feeling I have a feeling he gave his wife the clothes. No, he didn't. No, I didn't. Really? I really did not. Well, what is she, a jerk? No. I mean, I don't mean to call your wife she's, she's, names, she's, she's but... A, she's a wonderful person, but, you know... She I, would go into your closet I, without your permission and take your clothing that you just bought. Sometimes she's a little impulsive. But what is... what? Okay, I, I, I don't know. His answers are not clear to me. He's not telling me the truth. It, I can explain I'm it to you very <clears throat> simply. He's trying to keep the peace. Maybe, but that doesn't make... Why, why would you want to keep peace with a person who's taking stuff? It's stealing. Because she lives in your house? Right. If it was any... Believe. Wife, if it wasn't your wife? I mean, you put up with things when it's... I wouldn't wife. put that up with that. I don't care. A wife's your wife. <laughs> She's a stranger as far as I'm concerned. Well, she puts up a lot, with a lot of my crap, so it's... Like, yeah, but your crap isn't like that. Your crap is just your personality. I got, I got my... Oh, that's the thing. I figure... You think... You, you think... What, what, I, I was like, it's what sense does it make? It doesn't make any sense. For your wife to go into your closet and empty out your closet and say she has a store. Doesn't make any sense at all. And then Fred said to me with a serious face, he was just like, oh, she needed an inventory. That's how she was looking at it. Right. Yeah. But, but, but business-wise, she wasn't looking at the other end, no, that this wasn't that making money. So once again, like Jackie's wife, she's using Fred's money to make her money, which is Fred's money anyway. But as Fred said the other day, it's not costing him anything, no. except for the clothing. Right. Yeah. Well, that's a small investment. The rest of the stuff she did got... Did you ask her not to go into your closet yes. anymore? You did? Yes. And what'd she say? I said, I, I, well, she, she agreed to that. Right. How many, How many? seriously, how many things did she take out of your closet? At least five shirts that I know of. Wow. At least five. <laughs> I'd kill her. <laughs> I would. I'd probably kill her. It's, it's not worth it. It's, it's, <laughs> I'd probably it's kill her. Not worth it. you become OJ. Yeah, I'd it's probably do an OJ on her. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I swear I would. I swear I'd lose control. No, I would just leave. I would leave. I'd just say I made a mistake. Oh, Look out, Howard. I would. That would make me. That would. That would make me so mental that, that I'd leave. That you forget all the good things she might have done. She does a lot of good things. That's one of the kooky things. <laughs> you she gotta does. weigh it out. <laughs> I get. I well. It's, she it's she must give out. great oral sex or something, man. She's I don't know. Better at it. Right. Well, good. Better you deserve it. Believe me. <laughs> she wow. I don't get that. Man.
I mean, I know you're trying to keep her busy. Well, you know what it is. I, I, I hear what you're saying between the lines, but right, right. if you have to work that hard to keep her busy where she's stealing stuff out of your closet. Uh, it's a small price to pay. Right. The rest of the stuff she actually got legitimately from people right. who donated stuff. I guess you're thinking, hey, she's out of the house. She's keeps happy. her busy. She's busy. She's, she's got a project. She's she's doing something. All right. Good. Okay. Well, maybe, I, maybe I'm not looking at it right. Hey, Howard? Yeah. Uh, Fred's wife is on line 16. <laughs> All right. Hi, Allison. You should be sleeping. Hello? Hi. How are you? Hi. What are you doing up? I'm not. I was just woken up. Who woke oh, you up? Somebody called her. Why do people do this? I'm talking to Fred, and then they feel they should wake somebody up. Is this stuttering John again doing this? I, I don't want him to be the producer of my show. I just want him to answer the phones when people call in. Gary, would you straighten it out back there? She's not calling in. John just woke her out of bed. Yeah. Baba Booey. Did I ask for that? No, you didn't. Why does he do that to me? He's a dope. I guess he thought, and I... No, 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 no. He does not think. He's not allowed to think. He's not in my life. No. His job is to answer the phone. If Allison Norris calls in, or if I say, hey, guys, go call Allison Norris. Allison Furman Norris. <laughs> if I say... We what, said call Dennis Rodman. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Is that being we worked on? We call Dennis Rodman. There's no answer. Shut up, Robin. No, no, don't no, shut up, no, Robin. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, how no, dare you? How dare you? Oh, no, Jamie, I did <laughs> how dare, dare you? you? <laughs> no. I'm serious. Why is I'm he... I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Robin. Who is the producer of the show? <laughs> Screw no. you. No, who is, really? <laughs> you. So why is John thinking Baba out Boo. there? I'm not asking... Thought, and you know what? I didn't think Baba it was a Boo. bad idea either. You guys are doing this discussion. That's fine. Well, Did you? She didn't even know what we're talking about. You, now no, I gotta... we did. Hey, well, hold on. <laughs> Robert, just shut up. Howard, give me two seconds. Uh... We called her. We told her exactly what the discussion was about. <laughs> we asked her if she wanted to come on. She said yes. And then we get her and she goes, uh... But we did. We told her what it was but about. But then she we comes on the air, but she doesn't know... What... Even even as the intern, I said no, no, no. You don't understand something. No, Let me explain radio understand. to you. No, I understand everything. That's if, the if, problem. You're the effing smartest person in the world. Well, I am, and you can't accept it. <laughs> let me tell you something, yeah, me Gary. And your wife and your whole goddamn family can accept it. What? Gary, let me tell you something. What was that? Let me tell you something. Oh, shut up, Robin. Your goddamn Let me tell family. you something. Let me tell you something. Robin, if, Robin, let's even get into yours. Let me tell you we something. We're talking about families here. You am I talking to you? Shut up! Why would no. you want a woman on the phone who's not part of the conversation? Yeah, you told her about it, but she doesn't know what's going on. No, no, well, she does know what's going on. We explained to her what's going on. All right, but then on. when I pick up the phone, what does it sound like on the air? Uh, hello? We, we explained to her No, no, it doesn't matter. What does it ultimately sound like on the air? You're a smart guy. I'm well, dumb. it shouldn't have sounded like that because John explained it to her. So I apologize that's the way yeah, it came out. Have you ever had anything explained to you by John? Yes. All right. And what does it sound like? Gibberish, right? Okay. Do I ever understand anything John is saying? No. Do you have to interpret everything John says? Yes. What makes you think John could <laughs> tell Allison Furman Norris what's and going on and she understands? Because I actually heard him talking to her. No, because and you're the only one who can understand John. Sense. You're the only one who understands John. <laughs> no, no, I actually understood this one. Okay, here's what it sounded like. Oh, here's the Yo, death of my show, oh, Stuttering John. Yeah. Howard, you know, listen. John, did you have a radio show of your own? Did Howard. they give you a radio show? Yeah. yeah. What happened to it? I don't know. I'm still back on the air. Yeah. Guess, no, no, no. What like, happened to it? What's that? What happened to your radio show? They fired me even uh, oh, they despite good ratings. Well, I, well, let me tell you something. Yeah. There's a reason they fired you. Good. You make no sense. Hey, Howard, you know, before you just be an, an a-hole about this whole thing, Ugh. I asked, I just said to Gary, hey, you think I should call Allison? Did you check in with Gary? Yes. All right. Gary, if you checked in with Gary, and, then I blame Gary. And Gary said yes. And then he let you explain to her what no, was going on. No, and Allison... Right, get out. No, get out. And I explained out, to Allison get out, get out, very clearly what was going on, what you were right, talking about. To, all right, fine. So just fine. Now, be now, I'm in, now I'm involved. Okay, yeah, fine. Thank you. I'll be a great guy. Isn't that hard? I do this show for a living, John. This is how I make my living. This is a group to you. No, we all work to make your show be as good as it possibly work. You don't work. You sabotage. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Everybody, so do you really think we did this so that yes, to, to hurt yes, you? of course, no, it, no, no, I don't think you did it to hurt me. I don't think that you guys are capable of understanding what's involved in a radio show. I need to work with you another eleven years to teach you. <laughs> There's been many times where we've done this, and you've liked it. Allison, how are you? I'm just coming you. Right. <laughs> now she's away. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't understand one thing. You started a store, right? Right. Where you sell used clothing, right. and I and I'm happy for you. Right. All right. Why would you go, for God's sakes, why would you go into Fred's closet <laughs> and take his shirts and sell them at your store uh -huh. 
if especially one of the shirts he never wore before because you might as well just go to a department store and buy stuff because it's Fred's money anyway. Go to Fred's department. Go to a, a department store, buy a new shirt, and sell it there. Right. Well, the whole point of my shop is because I'm not I'm not buying clothing. I mean that was the, that's the whole point of it. Yeah, but Fred goes out and buys the clothing with essentially what is your money. Right. Buys a shirt. You go into his closet, take the shirt out, and you feel like you didn't buy it. Well, no. I mean, he knows I took the shirt. I mean, I. He says he did. He doesn't. Oh no, no! I mean, I didn't. I don't just go in there and you know. I mean, no, there was no like padlock on his closet. No, there, there, were, there were there were a couple of shirts that disappeared out of my closet. Oh. That I didn't realize until I went down to your store to visit. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're, right, right? You're, yeah. right, you're mm -hmm. right. Okay. What's the point in that? I mean, I personally, I would, I would probably. <laughs> It would, it, it would be... Yeah, that is kind of silly, isn't it? <laughs> it is silly. <laughs> now she sees. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I understand. Right. For me, she's not going to take me serious. All right, listen, I'm not going to get into it with you. you you got to do what you got to do. But I was trying to discuss it with Fred during the commercial, and I, I was banging my head I literally was banging my head against the machine over here. <laughs> That's how I, right. I looked I mean, at the camera people because they shoot everything around yeah. here. I looked at the... I, and you know, they're supposed to be impartial. They're sitting there laughing. They were a guest. Did you copyright that name? Uh, did I copyright it? No. <laughs> What kind of businesswoman are you? There's a guy on the phone says... Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, of course I did. Because there's a, there's a guy on the phone says his band has that name and they're copyrighted. Here, wait. Chris. Hey, Howard. Your band's name is Sunrise Ruby? I love Fred so much, and it's really a shame to see this go down. It's really sad, you know, the Princess Norris, when she was, yeah, when she was, when she was, uh, when they first met, she was so lovely. But what 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 are you what are you upset about? What's your point? Well, because she's still lovely. She, I love Fred, and she wanted to be an actress. Well, I wanted to ask you something. Did your band copyright the name Sunrise Ruby? Yeah, I have the copyright. Yeah, but that's for a band, right? Yeah, but yeah. I mean, there's a difference is, also. Like, you, you know, if it's trademarked. I mean, I had a lawyer obviously check it out, right. make sure that nobody was using that name as a as a business. Good. It, unless you trademarked it, which it wasn't. That's different. Right. Listen, Princess Norris, why don't you just one Saturday have a garage sale and set up like a kissing booth and you'll get it all out of your <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, kissing booth. That's you funny. Know yeah, why not have a kissing booth in the store? You That's know, not a bad idea. Actress, she wound up humping a guy in state. All right. Thank you. Oh, boy. Yeah, very angry. All right. Oh, all right, Allison, Straight thank you. My whole laundry. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> set up a kissing booth. <laughs> That's great. Then why not just have a garage sale? <laughs> oh, she can make money that way. I can keep some of my shirts. <laughs> All right, Fred. Hey, good luck. I'm, I'm happy you. for Allison. I'm thank happy you. for you. Long well, as you guys. Let's hope that she's a huge success. Right. And thank you for setting her straight. <laughs> and Stuttering John, thank you. That, that was a great segment. <clears throat> One day I hope to have the success you have. <clears throat> and Gary, thank you. Thanks for your help. I don't understand that. Well, 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 special you carry brothers. on about your family. You're talking about something that happened on the radio. Brother, all of a sudden, the, 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 the more everything you goes along. A -hole. What is what is going on? He has anger. She, you butt into everything. I'm you're, you're, talking you know about you what you said to him. I'm talking about what you said to him. He's not, talking but, to you who asked about. You? Who asked you? I'm asking you now. That's who's asking you. I'm not, I don't give a crap what you think, so I don't want to talk to you. Shut I'm just up. saying, when somebody talks to you about work, you start attacking them and their family? I a giant wind coming through the radio. You he, can start attacking he, them and their family because you right. weren't don't on your you. job. Exactly. Okay. I said right. to him, hey, you, Robin. I don't understand what you guys are doing, and then he starts attacking my family. Neither does you or your family. No, no, he told me I was family. a loser, and that he knows everything. You or your goddamn family, he says What's to that? me. He said he knows everything. And I do. I didn't say you were a loser. You said, are you the most uh, uh, smartest man in the world? So he said yes. You asked me a question. Do you want to talk to me? Because I ain't talking to her. <laughs> oh. oh, because I remember the argument. No, the point <laughs> is, talk about all the things you don't remember. if I start talking to you about work, why would you attack my family and say goddamn it's family? It's not just about work. It's just about everything. You're always right and I'm always right. I don't mind that. My That's, that. That argument's fine, but why attack my family? Hmm. That's the story of my because it just it, it's the story not, of your life is you attack my every, family every moment of your life you're always right to everybody and I'm always wrong. Well, listen, you actually, you obviously you're feel you're right. right and everybody's wrong. But you feel you're right. I feel I'm right. I feel I'm right in this instance. No, you feel you're right in every instance where I have to yell at you. You feel uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got some nerve, man. And then what you, you do is nerve. you do a personal attack on my family. <laughs> Yeah, all of a sudden it becomes about I something else to deflect. Yeah, he goes, you and your goddamn family think you're right. No, no, no. And I'm just like, what you is that's wrong Because you tell me that sometimes you and Allison have similar arguments to the ones no, that No, that's you. not true. That is true. You've told me that 
you told me that sometimes that you guys... There are times I have to correct my wife because she doesn't understand. But, exactly. but, but when you have an intelligence level like I do, how can you expect any one person to understand as much as I do? My level is so high... I'm just saying, what does yeah. it have to do with the issue Robin, at hand? Robin, I am is one syllable. Had nothing to do with it. Issue at hand. Nothing. What does it nothing. have to do with the issue at hand? In other words, the personal attack it was, yes. was vicious. No, I just explained it to you. No. no it's when I'm asking you about why somebody put a call through, what do you got to go to my family for? Because, Howard, don't... So, don't, so don't, what about you? Never mind my family. Uh, you're so full of crap. You're I, the one who moves it up. You're the one who tweaks everything up. Get out of here. Oh, Get out of here. Robin, if you don't shut up, I'm going to oh. choke you. Well, come on in and <laughs> choke me. Come in and do it. I want to see it. that. Come on in and choke me. Why does she have to shut up? Jeez. You want to wrestle? Again, we're doing a show out here. Right. Get it, get it through your head. Doing it here? I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're eating you're Cheerios you're and reading the newspaper. You're pushing back? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a show. Oh, I'm going to choke you. Shut up. All right, I'll sit here and be quiet. That's a good show. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Go sit anywhere, Kelby. That's a. a good show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's a scrapper. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I got this way? All right. Thank you. Who cares? Who cares how you got the way you got? It? I know I'm stuck with it. <laughs> All right. Ba 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 booey, ba 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 booey. Right. Stern Show Shuttle. Analog to digital conversion. Complete. In Atlantic City, the medical examiner's office is trying to determine whether a piece of flesh found in a sandwich in a casino cafeteria on Saturday belonged to a human or an animal. The flesh is believed to be the penis of a human. Or Wait a, a second. Small animal. Hold it a second. Whoa, whoa. The penis of a human or small animal? Yes. Imagine if it was a human and they go, ah, oh, it's probably a small animal. <laughs> small animal penis. They found this where? In a sandwich at the uh, Sands Hotel. And in <laughs> Threw them out, I guess. Oh, boy. No. So I said, I got a good system. Which we've always had, but broke down a little bit. I said, hey, Fred, every time... I just casually said to Fred, hey, Fred, I got an idea. Every time we Xerox something, you ask for a copy for yourself and just throw it on Gary's desk. And that way Gary will file it. Mm -hmm. So Fred flipped his lid. Oh, yeah? We've been doing that, and we've... You know, you, I, the system broke down. The system didn't break down. We've been pretty good up until now. I go, look, yeah. this is just to make us better. That's all. Don't get upset. This is just to make it better. But he started freaking out. Because he thinks I'm criticizing and you, and, his... And you were calm. Well, because it was getting annoying. It's on my nerves. I just have to, I should have to just say it once and everyone goes, yeah, okay, that's a good system. Yeah, or it sucks. Yeah, why would you argue about that? I don't know. But the thing is, is that's what we're doing already, so... <clears throat> but you didn't do it this time. But it didn't happen this time, so I read... This time, I mean, I wasn't... A... Yeah. They right, made the you copy. see, this is what happened. I assumed that the copy went out together. So, but I wasn't critiquing. I said, this is, let's review the system yeah, and see how yet, it works. Yeah, but it always gets, you know, dumped on me. <laughs> solely. Not dumped on you. Yeah. I said, I trust you so much that I want you to be in charge of this. Let me ask you something. When Billy had the script yesterday, why right. didn't he give it to Gary? Because Billy's a numbskull. That's so why I, I so asked I have, you. To... I have to make up for his numbskull. Right. Scality. Now you got I it. I got it. Now you got it. Hello. I got it now. Hello. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, I always rescue the script, sometimes pulling them out of the garbage, and I always right. have copies of them. Uh, I know. They're always Xerox. This time we didn't. Okay, well, I didn't Xerox. So all time. I went through is the system again. Right. But the bottom line is I have the, I have the script. I have the copy of the script. I had a co Oh, you had a copy, too. No, I, the copy that gets thrown around after it's been used is what I always think. Oh, good. Okay. So I have, but I, all right. But, but all I, I know is Gary didn't have it, and if I didn't think of it, it never would have gotten in the file but, that mattered. But, but I know I'm yesterday that, um, not yesterday, but the day before, when I came back in, I'd go into the bathroom, and somebody said, oh, somebody went to Xerox the script, so I knew it had been Xerox. See, you had the script. I had the script. Everybody had the script, All but no, children had the no, script. no, right? But no, but the no. person who needed to get the script, which is Shelley, the typist, and type it into the computer, and Gary to save it in the file, didn't have it. Uh -huh. So I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not saying it's wonderful, but I need one guy I can depend on, and I chose Fred for this task. And you've always uh, managed to. It's always managed to work so far. I'm usually right. the one that reclaims, that's, but that's, even though it's not my responsibility. Right. See, here's how we, this is, it gets, it you gets. You also a, cut me off, too, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, of course I do. I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh, so I don't count. Ooh. No, you count. Oh, so I don't have anything to say. He's like, you can put up a wall anytime you right. want. 
and I can't That's say right. anything. It's my it, show. I can do whatever I but want. But I'm also a person. That the, it doesn't matter. Humanizing me. I'm the only person that matters. And I don't count. Oh. Okay, as long okay, as I know. Okay, that's all. you know. Hey, as long as I you know. As right. long as I know the rules. Howard, that's right. Fine. See, this is what it gets. I, this is what I. This is what it gets into. Oh my God. He kept saying to me, it's always worked in the past. I said, Fred, I know it's worked in the past. I'm making a new rule. See, it's always, I find it incredible when people want to make excuses yeah. for something that didn't happen like every other I'm time I'm not making an excuse, Robin. If there's something happened, you know. <laughs> no, I'm not holding anyone. It All I said was, hey, the, the system didn't work. From now on, do me a favor. Because I'm so absent-minded, always say, hey, give me a copy of that script. I'm throwing it on Gary's desk. That's all. Would it be better to assume that just because it didn't get done this time, it's going to happen next time? Or should you check? I don't know. I guess I'm not allowed to ask <laughs> if someone could do that for me. But it's always... Should I ask it, Jackie it to is, do it? it is all right, Jackie, you do it, okay? Fred I doesn't want to do it. I have done it. And right. I but I didn't Xerox the script yesterday. It was one I just asked Fred to do it, and he's getting all bent out of shape. Yeah, now he's like a person that doesn't matter. Like I got. That's that's not there's no explanation needed. That's I'm just going true. over the system. But I can't. We can't have a discussion. But why would you want to discuss something as stupid as this? <laughs> okay. Well, you've made that decision. You've thought it was stupid. Maybe it's important to me. All right. Let's discuss all it. Right. Tell, right. tell me what. Tell me the discussion. <laughs> let's discuss it. Forget it. Fred, I don't want you to feel I, like you're not a person. No, tell me what you no, want to discuss. Forget it. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me what I. Tell me what I should discuss. Howard, come on. Stop. Go ahead. No. No. No, no, you're no, a person. No, I, no. I feel that you're feeling neglected. Yeah, right. Fred, Fred uh, tell me what you want to say. Howard, can we do commercials, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, what am I missing here? <laughs> He's saying he doesn't feel like a person. Well, you just talk to me like I'm a five-year-old. All right. Oh. Like, All right. I mean, boom. <laughs> okay. You know? All right, I apologize. And when I try to have a discussion with you, it's like immediately you say I'm getting defensive. All right, I apologize. And it's like... Now, uh, yeah, that's real heartfelt. No, uh, no I apologize <laughs> for the way I'm talking to you. I love being the guy in charge oh, here. Oh man! One day that's it'll be part, the part of the when I pass on. Fred, it'll be the Fred Nara show, and we'll see if you have to delegate responsibility. Oh, forget about it. Yeah. we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how tact. We'll see how tactful you are. <laughs> we'll see how well it goes when Robin's the uh, right. star. <clears throat> That's right. Robin. Oh, heads will roll. Oh, That's yeah. right. Is there going to be a live body left in the place? The bloodletting. Yeah. Now, let me ask you something. You say I talk to you like you're a five-year-old. How did I do that? What did I do? What did you do? It's like you don't even listen. It's like you go, now, this is what we're going to do. It's like you take my, it's like verbally you take my hand. Now, look, this is where we're going to Now, go. why do you think I said that? Why did you say that? I right. don't know. I can't crawl in your head. Because the system failed. So I'm making a new system. It didn't fail. It was a mistake. One mistake. It didn't fa Failure <laughs> is total breakdown. So I can't say this is the way we're going to do it from now on. But that's the way we are doing it. Uh -huh. But it didn't work. Because we didn't do it that way. I, when, the, when, the copy, <laughs> when, when the copy was made, I assume that John gave a script to Gary. But you're getting defensive, is what I'm saying. I don't care what went wrong. Because, All I'm saying is, here's the new I mean, system, starting day one. Am I am I am I out of line here? Listen, well, I just have one suggestion. Yeah. Do you want yeah. me to make? A, want me to spend 25 minutes on a new the, system? The, the three of you guys right. Okay? Yeah. As soon as the door swings open, you always say to me, you know, where's Scott? Is Scott still here? So now there's three of you. Just make sure that I have a script. Say, and Gary, here's a script. The, all three of you can be in Excuse charge. Excuse me, no. the no, 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 no. Excuse me. Oh, Excuse me. Oh, Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Bad suggestion. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm I got sorry. enough to worry about. I'm sorry. How to put food on all our tables, big. No. All right. Got hey, it. Hey man, don't don't. Talk here's to me the like system. That. Uh -oh. Fred's my man. Hey, I'm, I'm going to set it up one more time, and I'm going to talk to everyone like they're five years old. Here's the system. Yavol. Here is the system. I'm sorry. I'm man. setting up the system now. You don't know a thing about systems. Oh, Your head's over at MTV. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do with you. That's a whole nother story. Hiring him to tell them what's wrong with the show. Well, did you just hear that plan he had? <laughs> yeah, that's some system. Hey, wait a minute. Give that to Colin Quinn. What happened to the script thing here? How did the I get it? The script is this. You made a mistake. What is going to happen is <laughs> Fred is going to be my man in charge. He's my commandant. All of that Aryan blood in him is going to come in real handy because you're, he is my commandant. You're, uh, right. General Goebbels or whatever. He is General, I am now calling for a General Goebbels. <laughs> all right, now you got a title. Then don't tell me you don't love that. You are now General. Yeah, that's, that's All right? General. Generalissimo. Yeah. <laughs> and Gary, go Xerox your old mustache. Your oh. face misses it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, now I, get, now I get to see all the teeth in his head. Oh, yeah. That's a new treat.
I didn't really realize what color they were. Now, anyway, Fred is now Generalimis Generalissimo yeah. Fred. All right, so we all remember his name. When the general is handed the script, in fact, you know what? The general isn't even going to be handed the script. When I'm done my scribblings, I always say, John, make a Xerox copy. After that happens, I'm out of the system. Mm -hmm. My responsibilities are relieved. That's where Fred, General Fred comes in. General Fred says to uh, John, you make sure I have a copy on my desk. Well, Fred doesn't have a desk. No, no. I don't right. have a desk. I say, make sure I have a copy of that script in my hand, and then Fred will be handing it to you, Gary. He will hand carry it. That's right. To Gary. He will, uh, what they call a uh, courier. Yes. He will be the courier to you, <laughs> and will hand it to you, and you will be responsible. After that, Fred's responsibilities are over. Right. That's where I take over. That's where you, that's right. <laughs> that's where you take over. Why don't we just skip a step? Have When John makes a Go Xerox ahead. copy, just give no. it directly to Gary. don't want that. That doesn't work. Because no. you're Why the, doesn't that you're work? The because I need, the I need somebody who knows exactly what we wrote. But if John knows the system, but, why, why, why add a step can, when it's not necessary? Can I, uh, I need a generalissimo. Oh, so you need a person to sit there and go check. Right. Okay, fine. Okay. All right. All right. Now, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with checking the system. Now, Fred, is thank this you for adult that. enough language? I don't know. Am I, I I don't know what I'm doing Courier, wrong. Courier, that's not a five-year-old word. Courier and generalissimo. <laughs> First of all, I give the guy a title. Yeah, that's that's real. Like, uh, does anyone else on this show have a title? No. <laughs> yeah, that's a real dignified title. <laughs> <laughs> Fred the generalissimo North. Yeah. It's not Captain Kangaroo, but True. it's a no. title. And, you're, and, you're and let me tell you something, Fred. If you're not in charge... Then every time we screw up, I don't get a bit out of it. <laughs> so w you are in charge. Of course. And uh, you I are the general. Some motive here. You're the general. Who does he want to be, Mr. Moose? I, I don't, don't know. know. Mr. Green Sheets? <laughs> 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 um, general Fred will we'll hand it to the courier. General Fred will hand it to you. <laughs> all right. You had better make sure it gets into a file. Oh, that's no problem. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's what Fred said. That's not a problem. All right, so now I have no more problem to worry about. No. Now my problem is solved. Am I correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, from now that I've spent a half hour on this new system. And a fine system it is, too. You know what you need to file? <laughs> Your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he shave off his mustache? I don't know, but look at those exposed choppers. <laughs> not only girth, but height. Look at the height. <laughs> it looks like what's left of the rainforest. I know. <laughs> It's like two, two UN buildings. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting this. Don't worry. I know. Keep it on, man. No, you look all right. You look okay. Don't you think, don't you think eventually after you get yeah. used to it, I hate mustaches. Better. I think mustaches are people trying to sort hide of something. hide something. And, for, and Gary was. I, was I know for years I wore a mustache because I thought it would make my nose look smaller. It didn't make my nose look smaller. Nothing makes that look smaller. It looked like a shadow underneath my nose. <laughs> And it was a bad one at that. A little brush. Yeah. A girl talked me into this, quite frankly. Really? Yeah, she said... Her thighs were getting scratched. <laughs> Tickled. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm glad I got that taken care of. Well, everything is exhausting. Well, me. I couldn't imagine... I mean, we just walked in. I couldn't imagine what you could have been busy with. And I meant it in a very friendly way, too. Sure. I was like, you know, hey, Fred, do me a it, favor. It didn't seem that way. Well, you're just no, tight. No, it didn't... No, you, can't, you come across real strong when it comes to that. Thank of you, stuff. man. Well, but, because you know that's Howard's way, so you can expect well, him to be how, a but, different but who's person. Who is he talking to? I mean, he's not. Huh. You know, I'm talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> to my general. Talking to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, just, it makes me uh, nervous that we would missed 25 pages. Well, I'd be. I'm concerned too. See, everyone is concerned. Of course, I'm concerned. Right. Oh, did you <laughs> assume that he didn't think you were concerned? All I know is I'm the one who woke up in the middle of the night and said, "You know what? I don't think we have copies of that. I don't think anybody else did." Freddie, ask Freddie. Don't just assume. Fred went home and just beat the princess. <laughs> because she we didn't have home. copies. Though. <laughs> she, she wasn't, wasn't home. home. Well, maybe that's why you're mad. Beat a picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Listen. I have the script. Should I bring it in tomorrow? No, no, no. no. I've now got it. You, you we have found it. it. Yes, we have it. it. I had it in my desk. But oh. that doesn't do me any good. The system the broke system down. Broke down. Well, That's can, the point. Let me ask you okay, all right. right. Can I ask a question? Yes, you can. Why you don't did, have to raise your hand. No, no. no. <laughs> okay. It seems like I have to. Go ahead. Why don't? Why didn't you? <laughs> this is not. This is not meant to be an attack. Why didn't you hand the script to me so I could hand it to Gary so Fred. I could put it in the file? Fred, what's the system? If you had the copy, why did you have the copy? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Why did you have the copy? Because I'm absent-minded. What? You couldn't give it to me? I'm sitting right, right across the desk. I didn't you. think of it. I take stuff in my hand. Literally, you ask Gary. I can put stuff in my hand and forget it's in my right well, hand. Well, how did I know you had it in your hand? 
Doesn't matter. From now on, so you're I'm gonna... supposed to ask you. It's like, where's the school? Where's no, the you're you never ask me. Make sure you're the general. The is there. You say to yourself, why right. isn't that script in my okay, hand? Okay, okay, okay. Nah, you where see. is my I, script I see that's supposed to be see? in my hand? Okay. When your know. hand doesn't have a script in it, right? You're the one now. Why. You're right. gonna say, wait a second. I don't care where the other scripts are. Why is my hand empty? Okay. See, I got it. All right. That's all I was saying. I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, now you know my health, my personal yes, health. Yes, Mr. Stein, I get that for you. All right. See, he thinks that's demeaning. I don't. I don't. Uh, you know, people uh, have a certain I, way, and at some point you have to realize I, I it's value not him an and to I, you. I'll it's say, the way they speak. I'll right. say one thing. It's like every time there's something in this studio, and there's other people's responsibility Go ahead. to pick up stuff. Go ahead. But I pick it up. I've got no problem with that. Thank so you. it's not a matter of being demeaning or beneath me or anything like that. Right, thank you. I mean, if John's not here, I move my cart racks in and out by myself. I no one you. else is here. They're in the studio or in the office, and they're talking to you. When there's Night Moves records still up there and carts, I got no problem with it. I'll bring it in the office. I'll take reels off the machine, stuff that should be done, but I'll do it because it's here. And I'd rather right. see it in the oh, office okay. than disappear. All right. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, we value you, Fred, and yeah. we know that you care. You're my general. Oh, 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 yeah. You are General Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so <laughs> Why do you think he gave you that job, yeah, Fred? Who else am I going to give that job to? You know, Jackie? You don't know, know what he's doing. Will, Jackie, no one else will take it. That's <laughs> right. I'm the only one that's organized. It wouldn't be funny if I... I know. If you did it, it'd get done. <laughs> you know what really sucks about this show? Is yeah. how funny it is when you're doing it to somebody else. That's right. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting in now you understand it. I now you understand the show. Do it to him, it's so now, now you've arrived. Well, now I'm you right. might be ready for a title next. Am I right, girl? <laughs> Jackie's just jealous. He's not the general. That's right. It's just. Yeah. It's not even that it's so funny, which it is. It's just so good that it's not you. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right. Listen. Now that that's over with, I'll see, handle the, the system like I always have, and good. the system won't break down again. We right. got to do that. Very good. <laughs> oh, okay. Everybody's a big help. Okay. Yeah. Let's wait till the next time. Nah, that's all. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how long the system works. Yeah. Because some of your systems always break down. I don't know why. <laughs> all right. It's my fault they break down. Why, Robin? Why? <laughs> see, you know, this is good for the audience to hear because this is a lesson in management. <laughs> all right. Or lack right. of. I don't Systems know control. All right. This is how big business works. Oh, Jesus. You've now been privy to the innermost workings of a man in control with his general. And this is the first time anyone has ever been appointed on the show a general. That's true. This is the first uh, major appointment. Curious, I've never been appointed. You know, no wonder Mayor Barry smokes crack. I'm going to tell you something. I believe that this man should be set free because I need He's to smoke crack. Accused. He's been wrongly accused. The man is under a lot of pressure. I was going to say, this sort of reminds me of F Troop. Which right. Is to all this. Well, this is, I'm sitting in my office and going, what nightmare is this this morning? I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I'm not allowed to make a suggestion on my own show. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, Gary, you've told me how difficult Fred is. No. Oh. Well, I have never. I'm going to tell you. All right. See, I'm not the only one. All right. Here's a, here's a right. part where. This yeah. is what it's been, here's a part where I insult both of you, but in a constructive way. Oh. Fred did overreact a little bit this morning, but right. I've been in the same situation where you, you walk in first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. And it's like, boom. And exactly. It's like, boom, you know, because you've already been. Should I wait a few hours? Sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, give him a pre no, yeah. okay. up a little right. bit. I'll, when I, so I can forget later on to mention it. <laughs> well, that's why there's paper. You write it down, you pin it to the wall. Oh, and who's going to be... Oh, thank you. Oh. You say you're absent-minded. I got five different people to tell me all that, don't I? <laughs> no, you know what You sit in that chair hey, and, and it festers okay? in you for yeah. like a half an yeah. hour till we get in. And then as soon as we get in, you're like... Fred, do you have any concept of how busy I am? Have any concept? Howard, that's why you have planners. That's, that's why I hire people, right? That's why you hire people. Right. But you also have to take responsibility for certain actions of yourself sometimes. Oh, okay. Right? No. Okay. Yes? No. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. No, no, I don't think I have I'm to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Huh? A big I one. Did. Yes, I did. Bigger than you might know. I'm sure I did. Okay. Stern Show Shuffle. Analog to digital conversion. Complete. I told you not to use the goddamn tape. Joe! Hey guys, Alec from Bedford, New York. I listen six, seven hours a day for the last five years. Uh, the best part, the best was uh, Jackie and Rodney Dangerfield when Jackie had to pay Rodney back with uh, with jokes. January thirtieth, nineteen ninety-seven. All right. Hey, can't wait to meet Rodney. 
I'm a huge fan of Rodney Dangerfield. I think the guy's uh, an incredible talent. And Rodney uh, has always been very nice to me, quite frankly. Yes, he uh, appreciates your talent. Yeah, I'm going to tell you all about that. But uh, why don't we uh, see? Why don't we meet Wally Spark, Rodney Dangerfield, right now? And here's the man himself, Rodney Dangerfield. Look at you, beautiful. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'll tell you that, my friend. Rodney Beautiful. got dressed for the show. Hey, Rodney, you got dressed for the show. All right. <laughs> he got all dressed up. I admire a man. I admire a man who dresses well. We'll give Rodney a second to sit down. Rodney, we're on TV too, in case someone tells you. TV too. Yeah. All right. I do a lot of television work. Last week I fixed four sets. <laughs> Rodney, let me just look at you for a second. Don't yeah. you don't have to say anything. Let me look at you. You're a legend to me. to me. You're a legend to me. I yeah. gotta look you over. I gotta I gotta look at you. God bless you. What a legend. This is what a legend looks like. Yeah, I can't believe that's what a legend looks I like. Can't <laughs> I think a legend would have dressed up a little. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah. you look fantastic. Did you have any face well, work I'm done? Early, I'll tell you that, boy. The only time I get up this early is when there's sex involved. Right. <laughs> Did you did you have any face work done? I mean, you look younger than ever. No face work at all. Really, you didn't uh, you didn't go get, go Hollywood on us. I didn't us. do nothing. I no skin I peels. I didn't go Hollywood. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. You, didn't, you didn't get a skin peel. You didn't no, get anything nothing, like this. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing like this. Nothing. That's the way I am. And uh, you know, you're an amazing man because you have the vitality of a of a of a twenty year old. I really mean this. Rodney you know? still masturbates twice a day. Uh, Is that true? You know, you know about that. I heard. I read a book. So I've I, increased it since then. You really? Know? You've increased it? You should know who I think of. <laughs> who would that be? Oh, the nicest guys in the world. Really? I You've really changed. Really I can't believe it. Tell you. Rodney. But I want to straighten out one thing, though. Yes. I want to just tell you that I hear you talking all the time that my private part, unfortunately, is smaller than your private part. How would you know that? I... How would I know that? Don't I, you remember? Are you, are you, know, are you, really, are you serious? Are you being serious? You're the, oh, you're, yes, your yes. penis was always it's very small? Very, very small, yes. It's and you've never admitted things. that on any other show. But with you, I can be myself. Right. And talk about the truth. You know and you've mean? been with many beautiful women. Uh, uh, Rodney was, first of all, Rodney was always, he was a married man for many years. Yes, right? and left show business. And left show business right. and everything for his family. I mean, it was admirable, you know, and you always stuck with your wife. But then when your wife was gone, you could go out and party, right? Yeah, well, we had a domestic situation that was rather unusual. Really? And different. She was ill, my wife. Yeah, know, right. So it wasn't uh, right. quite right. Right. But, uh, so, but I mean, what I'm saying is, is that then after your wife died, you yeah. were able to go out and date because you were famous and you were... How long did you wait? Right. Well, she was alive. I could do that. Oh, you could? Sure. Oh, no kidding. Oh, wow. What a life. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, because she was ill, you were allowed to date. Oh. Whatever it was, you know what I mean? I envy your life. You do, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I sure, I I know, surely I got, do. I got it made, haven't I? <laughs> I was shocked when you got married, actually, because, believe it or not, Rodney, you know, Rodney being a Hollywood star. He was a player. You were a player. A player? I, yeah, you were a player. I mean, you, I play? you come on, women. You, I mean, you, you were, you were pretty good with the ladies. It wasn't like, nah, uh, nah, oh, nah, nah, ladies. Man. <laughs> yes, you nah, are. Nah, nah. Come on, are well, you, you kidding? You tried to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used to say with girls, I can hold my own, which is usually what they tell me to do. You know, so I saw a picture of your beautiful new bride. Yeah, she's nice. Oh know. my God. She's Mormon from Utah. Is that right? Mormon, right. And I'm very happy with her. You are. In fact, next week I'm marrying her sister. <laughs> you're allowed to do that when you're a Mormon. And I got my eye on her brother, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, Rodney, oh. seriously, before we talk about the movie, your yeah, personal... Well, that's what no problem about the movie. Yeah, but I, mean, but I'm gonna, I want to talk to you about it. But your yeah. personal life is really going unbelievably well in the sense that... You you have this beautiful wife. I saw a picture of her. He's like been married for a little while now. Yeah, I know. And I mean, he is. She's totally hot. She was like some flower lady or something. Yeah, she, she, she owned the flower shop. shop. That's yeah. where I met her. <gasps> That's she beautiful. She owned a flower shop in Santa Monica about 12 years ago. She had that. Still in that business. And I walked by and I noticed on her forehead she had a sign that said, I'm easy, I'm easy, I'm easy. And, and you went for it. Hey, that's for me, you know. Was she difficult to get, actually? She probably was. Nah, I mean, snap. Really? Snap. Oh, <laughs> Spread those legs nothing. in two seconds. Not, well, not that, but <laughs> right. she was easy to get to know. She was. A lucky man. I saw her. She was wearing like a little mini skirt. I don't know where you I were. I had a small dick when I went to <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> when the first time you took your clothes, when the first time you made love to this woman, yeah. I'm being serious now. No, no joke. Yeah, I mean, was she laughing? I said to her, so far, so good. Huh? She said, so far, not far enough. That's what happened to me. <laughs> really? You know what I mean? She yeah. was shocked that you were so small. That's right. Right. In fact, that was with a hooker. I dropped my pants. She dropped her price. I'm telling you what's that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. You tell the truth the way easy. it is. I went to a nude beast that told me to park in a handicap section. For <laughs> she saw what it was doing. No, but these are the jokes. You couldn't believe it. <laughs> so uh, you got a million of them. 
getting back to your dick and my dick. Let me go ahead. All right, all right. We're gonna say. Well, let's get to the real they stuff. They say they say that you can tell the size of a man's dick by his name very often. Really? That's right. You take a guy who's a short a guy who's like Pee Wee Herman. Right. You know. You know that. Little Abner. Right. Here's one, Dick Van Dyke. He didn't know what he is, you know? <laughs> no and, uh, one was clear. That's what I said. So great Rodney Dangerfield, everybody. We'll be back right All after right. these words. Thank you very much. I'm done. You're, You're done. done. That's it. Oh, Painless. More after this. Hey, so when Rodney was here, Ganji was interviewing him, and uh, Ganji said to him, Did you? Uh, d so we, I understand you knew Jackie many years ago. He goes, yes. She goes, did you have a pleasurable experience with Jackie you'd like to tell us? He goes, I didn't have any pleasurable experiences with Jackie. Really? Yeah, and Ganji said he wasn't kidding. Well, you know what? I noticed that Jackie didn't go over to talk to him. Him? Yeah, what's yeah, going on he, between you know. and Rodney? I don't know. He didn't know me. He acted like he didn't know you. That's weird. I don't even know if he saw me. Are you sure you know him? Why wouldn't you say hello to him? Jackie, say hello to everybody else. I think know. Jackie was lying. When I first met Jackie, Jackie said that he wrote for I Rodney. Did, I did make that up. You did really? Yeah. All Is right. that true? All right. Well, then you came clean. Good for you. Oh, well, Rodney's still here. <laughs> Should I ask him? Is he still here? I think Rodney don't like you. I know. Wow. Because you used to hang. Did you really hang with Rodney? Be honest. Didn't he tell us he used to have dinner at Rodney's house? He said he had dinner at Rodney's house, him and Paul that. Williams. You said you and Paul Williams and he Rodney. had dinner at Paul Williams' house. You and Rodney? In Las Vegas, yes. All right. Really? Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes Rodney. Total strangers. Really? Really? Rodney, you want to address this Jackie Martling thing at all? You told them you didn't know me. <laughs> <laughs> you told them you don't know me. I know you well, He just doesn't like you. Like you telling everybody you don't Rodney. like me. Rodney. Problems. Oh, that's all. Oh, you did. Oh, you what did. Problem? Just like anyway, and no hating me at all. Oh, no. I love him. You love Rodney, right? Yeah. He had a few problems, which I'm sure you remember. What are the problems, okay. Rodney? No, oh, really, Rodney? Because I have problems with him too. Well, Everybody I has problems. Let's talk. That, uh, I'm sure you recall. Really, really, Jackie. Wow. Wow. What is this about? <laughs> this is way too what personal. Are, what are problems with I you about? I gotta see Alan? Rodney's face while this is going oh, on. Oh, you know, hey, Rodney, let me guess what the uh, problems were. He gets jealous of no, your success. No. Not that. Oh, no, not that problem? I asked Rodney to borrow some money. Oh, I know is that it was it? money. Oh, oh. Why oh, would you do that? It goes deeper than that. Oh, it does? Oh. Did it go deeper than that? Yeah. You oh. didn't pay it back. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're on the air. <laughs> Are we on the air? <laughs> of course. Uh, See, I heard, I heard something. Than that. What? Right. Uh, this doesn't have anything to do with your buddy who rented Rodney's house. No, no. That, that's a whole oh, different yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, Jackie. Millions of years later. Oh, it is? Well, that had nothing oh. to do with me. Well, all I know is you piss Rodney <laughs> off. Man, I'm not offended or hurt by anybody. You understand? I've been through everything in life. I, I really don't know what you're talking about. Because our falling out, I asked you to loan me some money to press and my I album. I did. Yeah, and then I... And then I, the next week, you came back and asked me for more money. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> Jackie. And I said, Jackie, it's got to end some way, you know? Right. Oh, is that and, uh, true? Wow. I borrowed some money, I and I paid it back, and then I asked the borrow some you more. You never paid me back, okay? Ooh. You just came back the next week and asked me to borrow more money. Rodney, that's not true. Really? Well, that's then we true. have a difference in opinion who got paid back. If you could pay me back, you would have to borrow a second time then. Right. <laughs> yeah, what kind of payback sense? is that to borrow? A I'm, not look, I'm not looking to get busy with this, Jackie. It was years and years ago. I wish everybody And Jackie still work. hasn't paid you back. Jackie still hasn't paying. paid you back, Rodney? Yeah. That's, 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 I, don't I borrowed a thousand dollars. Yeah. And I gave it back to you in jokes. And you don't remember that? In jokes? Oh, oh in jokes. <laughs> <laughs> How do you put a value Joke on those? Money. <laughs> and I, that's not true either. Okay. Well, you know, I'm right. a great guy in your corner here, and I'm. No. Wow. No, I wish you were the best, man. Right, okay? right, right. We're all in this world to try and be happy, and it's all. So right. If you're happy, you're doing great. And I'm I glad no, you uh, brought him back. No yeah, I'm glad, Rod. I'm because, glad we worked this out. Because I knew that there was <laughs> yeah. something going on. Nothing was said right. between the two of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. It was weird because... because in the scope of life, this is extremely important. Because Jackie's big story has always been how he hung out with Rodney. And, and you Rod were friends. And Rodney is his friend, and Rodney's his buddy. And then when you were here, I said to Jackie, just casually, I said, gee, you and Rodney didn't seem to really uh, say anything to one another. And then, uh, then I guess uh, I never knew about the I never wow. knew about the falling the out. The last couple times I saw you, you never said anything about this. He's at a all. gentleman. Well, I don't go around. What is he going to say? You still owe me money? Story? You you <laughs> called that first debt square with me. You called it square with me. What, I mean, hey, Rodney, you Rodney, it's best we don't go over this. Really? You're not being straight. What is it, Gigi? You're telling me I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Do you think Rodney would lie, Jackie? I would lie. I don't, much, uh, what I is don't think game? it was the debt. I think it was that uh, Rodney read that Jackie was claiming he wrote a lot of his jokes. Oh, and really? It was, it's a lot less than 
Oh, like really? Ronnie claims to be. So when I you had an interview, you had an interview of recently where you said that you caught my act, and you were surprised about how many of your jokes are in my act. I never said that. That was in the interview, okay? In, in where? Show it to me. That's not true. I don't true. know. That's what the guy said. Okay? Who, who's the guy who said that? I don't know. I don't keep track of these things. But I'm telling know. you, I have never said that. All right, wow. then forget about it. Forget it. It's over forget with. It's thing. over with. It's, it's 100 years old. Case closed. Yeah, yeah well, Jackie. are never going to forget about it. No, now we're going we're gonna to torture him the rest of his life. Yes, because <laughs> his other, one like, friend <laughs> turned out not to be a friend. He ruined if the friendship. If you need some more money, I'll loan it to you. You see what I mean, Rodney? I'll loan you some now. Jackie, huh? yeah, now Jackie's doing pretty well from the show, you know. Now he That's has money. Great. Why don't you pay? That's why don't you pay Rodney yeah, back his money? Why don't you money? give him his money back? Why don't you give him his thousand? I, don't want I back. paid him okay. back in <laughs> jokes. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? Did he give you jokes when I you pay, asked for money? I pay him back in jokes. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> oh, oh, give me I'll pay cash. Him back in jokes. Yeah. Hey, hey, thanks, Rodney. I'm sorry. You know what can I tell you? As long as you two keep getting along, that's what. That's all that matters. We don't get along any better. Yeah, believe me. We don't get along that well. They don't speak either. You say that, that means you're getting along. If he would, if he would, let, if he would give me back my money, I'd be happy. <laughs> Borrow money you from doing you. Hitting up Rodney for money. Hey, what are you hit, I don't understand something. Why are you hitting up Rodney for money? That's a good question. I was bar trying to borrow money to press my. But second don't don't hit up Rodney. Him. I, I asked. I, was, I wasn't asking. Nah, for you did the wrong thing. No, uh, All right, the guy's the employing thing. you. Why hit him up for uh, a loan? Yeah. If you don't yeah. scrape and claw in the beginning. You never get anywhere. So I just I was scraping and clawing. I admit it. Man, you said no. What's the big cool. deal? Listen, I used to rob grocery stores when I was trying to get. Okay, ahead, so it's you know? the same thing. Yeah, but at what's least well, at least you didn't ask anybody for yeah, anything. Yeah, you're wrong. Oh, <laughs> what you had to take. Oh, I, I, the only thing I asked for was borrow money to get a gun. That's only by the money. <laughs> <laughs> I went out and robbed grocery stores, gas stations, whatever I could pick up. With borrowed money. That's right. Howard, thanks, Rodney. Again, thank you so much. Thank again. you, Rodney. Jackie, the best to you. That's all ancient <laughs> history, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not what happened. All right. All right. Whatever you say is the truth. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> any, any much thing you say is the truth. Thanks, Rodney. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Rodney. I will talk to you. All right, man. Right. We love you. Thanks, Rodney. Thank you, Rodney. That's Rodney Dangerfield, everybody. Truly a uh, great comedian. Obviously, uh, Jackie, uh, Jackie, like all of Jackie's relationships. Always ruining a good connection. Always a ruined relationship. I wish I had to ruin this one. Jesus, Jackie, you really blew that one. All I know is, Jackie, there was some miscommunication between you and Rodney. What exactly went there down? Who no knows? no miscommunication. No, you two had a falling $2, out. I said no. No, but th he's mad at you. I mean, it's a shame that you don't pick up that this guy was mad at you. You're, you're out of it. And you're interpersonal that relationship. somehow or other, it didn't feel good getting Who his thousand dollars back in jokes. Yeah. Who cares? What, uh oh. Here comes Rodney. Uh -oh. oh my goodness. Uh oh, Rodney's back. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, here's Rodney. Oh wait, it's Rodney's back. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Rodney's back. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> hey, Rodney. There's a few hundred more things I didn't cover. Uh -oh. All right. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, what's up? I came back because I heard you're still talking about it. Well, this is fascinating yeah. to us. Yeah, we'll, we'll we, draw this out be, for another two years. This will go on for two or three yeah. years. Oh, this my is, God. This is yeah, now I mean, legend. <laughs> this is legend. <laughs> Jesus, how do you like that? Well, Jackie says he wrote the double bagger joke That's for you. That's right, yes. He did, he did. Right. All right, so he does but get But you paid credit. for that one. That wasn't in repayment for the loan. No, that was a... Uh, that was that was. Well, I don't remember any jokes for loans. It was just, a, <laughs> it was just yeah, a, right. a loan and another loan. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. But this is like the no, Israelis. Don't lie about that. Come no, on. this is like the Israelis and the Arabs. The final. <laughs> they, 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 you know, it, what I was trying to say to Jackie. I said, Jackie, the amazing thing is not why Rodney was mad at you, but you don't even know Rodney. <laughs> you don't even pick up on. You don't even pick up on it. You got to be. You got to be into people. You got to be a people person and realize when somebody's well, mad at you, especially what someone as big person, as Rodney. I understand what a people person you are. Well, listen. It's not like we do. Just, I work we things didn't out. See each other. What? We didn't hang out together. Rodney don't love you. I, don't, <laughs> you I don't think the love is mutual. Yeah. Right. It's all right. I don't. I don't. Good luck, man. We're all just trying to find our way in life. That's, that's right. That's it. Right. And, and Rodney, clearly, you have found yours. Yeah, I, found I don't know way. about Jackie. You sure did. I found my way. We don't know about Jackie. <laughs> but you came just in time. I wish I was a singer. They got the racket. They, they sure do. You don't have, have to think of... Cole Porter writing for him stuff. We got to write our own stuff. You don't, don't even have... to know Jackie. Right. Right. <laughs> singers, singers got it easy. They don't have to loan guys thousands of dollars oh, and get paid oh. back in jokes. Right. Well, I got writing for them. Cole Porter, Irving Berlin, they got great writers. That's you know, true. That's enough. true. And you got to go sit and think of jokes. I, 
That's right. Think of jokes. What are you going to do? Huh? Well, listen, it's been a long, hard road because of Jackie, mostly. <laughs> but, uh, Rodney, you've come through come it all on. beautifully. That's Rodney, I don't know if it's worked out between you and Jackie, and who cares anyway? It's all worked it's out. It's all worked out. It's one big happy family here. It's all worked out. Just pay me the you money. You know what? I got a thousand <laughs> bucks on me. You want it? Yeah, yeah. Ping oh, out the oh, thousand bucks. Give, the give Rodney give the goddamn money, thousand Jack. right now. Here it is. Oh, oh, oh. He's reaching in the wallet. He calls me. He calls me Is that American money? Yeah. No. yeah, let's see. Let me see. <laughs> joke money? Why don't you just give him a few jokes? Wait, here, you're about to get your money. Hold it a hey, second. God. This is a miracle. I got all it to you. Wait a second. Oh, let's see. I don't have it. Where you don't have it? Well, how much you got? Hold on. Let me loan you another thousand. Ah. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you ask Rodney to lend you? Give me a pen, Howard. What? Oh, you're going to write an check? IOU? That's no good. Oh, no, I'm not gonna gonna what is that, a check? check. Oh, yeah. Right. It's going to bounce. Wow. Stop Look at this. With this you right. I don't want no check. <laughs> Wait, you're going to get paid right now. I don't Jack want Roy. it, man. I don't want it. You're making it out to who? Jack Roy? No, he goes by Rodney Dangerfield now. Go ahead. Oh, wait, you're going to get paid. This is a No, 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 this is, no, no, no. This this is, is good. good. Don't be modest here. Ro he should pay his debts, Rodney. He should pay his debts. He owes you a grand, let him pay it. There it is. I said to him, he borrows a thousand, you pay back the thousand. There you go. He's always uh, on the uh, horn screaming, Welcher, <laughs> Welcher. Well, this is very nice, what very nice, but I'm afraid I'm just leaving it here. You are going to leave oh, it there. Oh, Rodney. That's, all. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the autograph will be worth money someday. Uh. <laughs> anyway. The point is, Rodney's here not to argue with Jackie. He's here to promote <laughs> his movie. The other thing is that that great line of uh, Jackie's, why don't they know me? <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's oh, great. Oh. That's so Jackie. That is oh. so not true. Oh, oh please. That is such I believe that 100%. 150%. Well, I'm telling you. I it's unbelievable. It. Yeah. Am I done again? I guess so. I don't know. Unless you want to say something. Stay for the news. <laughs> yeah. All I know is... Every man has his tale of woe. <laughs> Unfortunately in life, there's more woe than tale. It's so true and well said. Right. Thank you very The great much. Rodney Dangerfield. Take off those headphones, Rodney, because okay. you'll go insane if you don't. <laughs> Thanks, Rodney.